Hello, we are the Kobold Cafe, and this is another episode of Shards of the Void, a fantasy role-playing game using GURPS 4th edition. I'm Luke the GM, with us today we have Terra. Hello. Hello, is that, is that, are you saying something here? I, I, I was just saying hello. Um, I'm uh, playing Orn, a magical crystal jeweler librarian flying... Monster? Rock monster. Rock I monster. talk the talk, but I can't walk the walk because things are terrifying. No, also because, because you fly. Yeah, the no legs yeah. don't help. No legs. You've caught a glimpse but... of James. Hey, I play Jaku, the, the sword-wielding, terrifying... Uh, uh, warrior bunny. Murder bunny. Murder bunny. <laughs> Sworn enemies of the bard ever. Hi, everyone. Not, uh, not sworn hi. enemies. Just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, misunderstood allies. You, you could put it that way, I suppose. Who are you playing ever? Uh, I am playing Ulrich, the Orsin Bard. Uh, just trying not to screw things over with his natural magic. <laughs> He's cast a lot of spells in inappropriate places. We know about that. We've got Jared. Hello, I'm playing Tabra, the um, middle-aged and a couple hundred years old, almost 300-year-old mage. And he's pretty useful. Yeah, I'd have said you've been pretty useful so far. Like, uh, this magic has definitely uh, improved the day-to-day -day quality of life of this group vastly over the past week, I think. Finally, we've got Z-Warrior. Hey, I'm Z-Warrior. I'm playing Obscuro, also known as Spot, the Birth Alchemist. Birth Alchemist. Let's try and say his name right at the start today. Uh, try and fit it all in here. It's a big one. Obscuro, Coxineus, Cornucopioides, Algoneo, Viridescence, Tremolo, Dendro, Spatistro, Bilomyces. He's a true Verth from the deep. Not one of them high Verth, the false types. Long names, no. deep Verth. No. I feel like they do it just to kind of annoy someone, but I don't know why. But aye, that's everyone. Uh, so you've had a really busy week fighting zombies, fighting more zombies, people having children kidnapped. Oh, I should point out that we are currently missing Simon, who normally plays Sigmund, the overprotective father of the resident magical battery, uh, his daughter Leah. And best friend, Orn, because she's amazing. Not yeah. just a battery. Only friend ever, because of how overprotective a father is. I will kidnap her when he <laughs> dies. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you've had a, a couple of pretty busy days on the road, I think. Sorry, just got to stay hydrated here. Mm. Hydration. And we may as well have a look ahead to when you arrive on Skip. It's been a boring journey. Uh, camped at the side of some farmlands. Um, you didn't really see much or anything other than the occasional farmer farming. It's not boring. I sing very loudly, and then there's jewellery, and then there's reading. It's a good trip. <laughs> uh, you are heading gradually downhill overall for the whole journey as well skip is at a lower elevation than the last towns were i actually like i was also thinking i maybe like at at, at night and whatnot jaku starts teaching lee like how to defend herself a little bit 
Okay. I don't have, like, a teaching skill, so I suck at it, but... Mm. Yes, what does teaching default to? I want to say IQ minus 5. It sounds right. So we'll just say it, IQ minus 5. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> IQ minus 5. Bam. For... Show us that IQ minus 5, Jacko. Let's see if you taught well. You can give us 2, seeing as it's been 2 nights. Watch me suck. And right. <laughs> oh, I didn't suck so bad that time. There's a communication barrier here. Oh! oh! Wow. Maybe we should swap it around. First off, you were just talking to her, obviously. On the nose. But no, she legit got some hours of learning in there. That's impressive. Nice. Wow. What what do you think you taught her? Uh, I mean, I think we're just going to start with the basics of, you know, point swords. Pointy bit towards enemy. Yeah, pretty much. Like, defense. Mostly, like, how to defend against things. Mm -hmm. Seems like a good starting like, point. I, I I don't think Jakku's trying to make her, uh, uh, you know, crazy killing killer machine. swords. <laughs> yeah, I think Jakku's just like, you know, it would be way easier if we didn't have to worry about you quite as much. Radio. Uh, so I, I have got a bit of a map for Skip that I may as well take you over to. Ooh, Skip is kind of sizable. Yeah, it's twice as big as Kavexa. Uh, there's good 8,000 people living here. There's even four different magic shops in this town. Ooh. All sorts of shit. And there's a few inns. There's two listed there, but there's actually another two on top of that that just don't have stables. And the river is quite broad. Uh, this is the highest point on this river, the river skip, that your boats leave from, and there's a little dock area around here. Interesting. Some do come back as well, though. You know, it's, they trade downriver that, that away. And then there's the road that goes on north to... I have forgotten its name because I'm not on the map. <laughs> Things don't exist if I can't see them. Campbell is the next town north. I want to go to Campbell? That sounds a lot like work. <laughs> it's probably spelled fairly differently. Uh, do we have to stop at any like entry things or anything or are we just free to roll into town there is a gate and it is closed as you roll up uh you've got ox. we were anticipating um inspections right uh yeah yeah this town my does inspect uh, you did have a chance to hide anything in the car if you wanted to but... my uh necklace that i built is in my gullet Past the cloaca, gotcha. Uh, Crikey! Crikey! Anyone else got anything they want to hide? Um, uh, Tabra has this rose gold necklace that he... I forget why he has it, but he's going to put that in the bottom of his quiver, where his crossbow is. Okay. How much does it weigh? I can eat it for you. You'll never see that again. He's, yeah, he's not doing that. <laughs> uh, it's it's not like they're gonna pat you down or anything, but they will look around inside the wagon to make sure you're not smuggling a bunch of, uh, I don't know, soldiers or anything. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to those draperies, those tapestry things that um, we got. I'm gonna lay them out like they're being used. Uh huh. It's just a uh, rolls of cloth but you can make them look like blankets easy enough yeah no it's i'm it's not as much a hold out as it's just like 
Makes this is things we sight. use, not we're going to uh, sell. Um, what do I need to roll for that? Camouflage. Camouflage. What's that default to? Do we have a default to? I should have the skills list up. Camouflage is easy. IQ minus four. And I think that checks uh, out for... Like, uh, If someone actually had the camouflage skill, I doubt they'd be very good at it in a wagon. But IQ, IQ minus four sounds minus good. Minus four. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're never going to have a trouble. High five. Someone warn me if Simon appears, please, because I'll not notice him popping in. <laughs> I'm sure he'll warn us if he does arrive. But, yep, that's... that's. Yeah. I hit the things, and also the books were not selling either, but, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're really on up there. I'll wave as we approach. Uh, two guards will step forward and give you a quick look over. Ox pulls the ox to a stop. Any, anything to declare? I'm amazing. Any trafficked goods? Bulk goods for sale? Uh, not bulk no i mean we have stuff but it's not you know he's walking around the wagon he's like may i oh yeah go ahead steps up and has a glance around inside this would help if i had my keyboard near me probably yeah if i just do that does that work yeah he has a glance around and says mm, all in order uh, before you pass us through, I'm going to pull out the drawing I did of the lady we're looking for. Did this woman happen to pass through here? He'll glance at it. I'll look at it. Scratch his chin. Uh, how many children were killed? What? No, how many children were killed? This is out of game. Oh, uh, were it 17, I think? 17? Uh, this woman is wanted in connection to the murder of 17 children? His face drops, because pale immediately. You've all got body language enough to see this straight away, if you're watching. And he's just like, oh, she came through here two nights ago. On horseback, she did not stop, but she she is behind the missing children from Kavexa. She is an associate of one of the people who did it. The inn and the other guard, like, share a look at each other. And they're just like, oh, well, she's no longer in town. We saw her at the north gate, passing the river. She was going on to uh, north. She didn't stop. Two nights ago it was. Aye, thank you. That's like, no. Apologies. Shame you did not get here sooner to warn us that she's involved in the murder of 17 babes. Uh, I, do you guys have any, like, magical uplink to the next town up or anything? Uh, the lady's mancer might. Ah, uh, there's four wizarders in town, four mancers selling wares that may help you. But who, who was the first one? The wizarder? For wizarders, wiz magical types. Oh, oh, I thought it was a specific guy named Wizarder. No, there's uh, there's Fentath, Rar, Fifra, and Horton. You'd probably want Horton or Fentaf. Horton or Fentaf. Thank you. Uh, and I'll ask for directions. Uh -huh. It'll point you to it. It's uh, they're pretty much in the middle of town. One of them is bang on the one. Where one is, is Fentaf's. Anything else? Anyone wants to ask these nice gentlemen? I'd look around the cart. Hmm. Uh, 
And the time is currently afternoon, I believe. Uh, you would have arrived at Skip probably about... Mm, yeah, a couple of hours afternoon. So she, she's two days ahead of us. And gain. She's got fast horse. Yeah, if we can get communication to the next town with this picture, we might be able to get her under arrest. Like maybe we could falcon it over uh, a wanted poster, falcon it over to them, or, you know, magic it. <sighs> Hockey. The eagles. Sorry, eagles are uh, plot powered. Uh, does the printing press exist in this world? Uh, there is one bookmaker. Not sure. People make books, but I think it's by a process of copying them, or by a magical this, process this of copying them. we're working on, printing presses won't exist. Nope, yeah. that isn't. We're playing That's... like 1200s, 1300s-ish. I was just uh, checking. Printing presses a couple centuries later. Yeah, okay. No print and press. Only All right, so then what I'm going to... If, if that's the case, uh, during those two days, could I have made a couple more drawings copied to this thing? Uh, probably, yeah. Uh, give me an artist check. Artist me... drawing. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Damn. Critical success. I think I make a few. Yeah, you've you've got twenty pictures that are all pretty much identical. All right, and it I have it wanted for in you know crime. Yeah, huh. we've added a note underneath them all. You're lucky that the, there is plenty of paper in this wagon. Uh, there is no bounty, shortage. Uh, for now, bounty is one gold coin. Are you uh just? <laughs> You in a position to issue bounties? I am bountying it. If they get it to me, if they get her, and I, uh, how does bountying work? Well, I think a, a a city guard will issue a bounty. Like it'd be someone with authority, the authority to actually, like, exercise control over the land. You're just requesting like you a kidnapping. Want put a bounty on their their neighbor. Yeah, request a kidnapping. Yeah. You wouldn't want that to happen. Like a, a public reward for kidnapping this person is... With the I accusation think... of this. But Orin is naive and doesn't respect authority or understand authority, so I think it makes sense to do yeah, that. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, I, underst I understand authority. That's why I was asking. We'll talk to the bounty person and I can put a coin down. <laughs> slide it back to you as like I don't need paying for anything no no not this guard no yeah but you're in town Jack okay. kinda I think wants to head north fast yeah I, I, I I'm after this girl cause she's got at least she's the only lead I have for my mission <laughs> well if we can get it to the guard if we can get this to the guards in the next town, we might not have to rush there. Well, they open the gate and allow you through. Let you know where the inns are. Uh, one here. I've forgotten its name. It is... The Broken Cog is down here. Right there. After it is a boat, it seems, that were dragged up from the river. And the other inn is right here. Skip's Crossing. <coughs> That's if you're planning on staying the night in this town at all. Or even going off your cart for very long. You said it was afternoon, right? Mm-hmm. 3 p.m.-ish. You could legit continue traveling. I at least want to stop uh, at the wizard or and or falconers. So we will al carrier pigeon. 
it's not something I've really thought about much, the bird message transmission. I think it is pretty much done by magic more than anything else. Not ravens? Uh, they've been used already. I'd be thieving uh, yeah, if I'd... I did ravens. Chickadees? Frogs? Chinchillas. Chinchillas are so cute, but they're useless. There's no chance. Snails? Snails are pretty but... quick. Unladen swallows. Snails. Pigeons do it. Pigeons are pretty good at that kind of shit, aren't they? <laughs> I've been for a long yeah. time. What TL yeah. is messenger pigeons? Way back. They were using messenger pigeons for freaking ever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's someone who you can get to send a pigeon to an, another town nearby. But if we can transmat this via magic, I'd prefer that, because it's probably quicker. Yeah, like, instantly quicker kind of thing. Well, you guys decide if we're going to stay overnight or not. I'm going to go talk to the wizard person, and you can let other people do their thing for a bit. Uh -huh. We must continue onwards. Even if we stop her, we must then stop their plot. Hmm. If we will stay, uh, would you like me to host a night on the inn that she's supposed to be at? Ulrich says as he looks at the group. She's already left this town. Well, in case they could find something where she used to be. Oh, like, ask more questions and what have you. Mm -hmm. They said she pretty much cruised right on through, right? She didn't yeah. stop? The, the guards saw her at the north gate two nights ago, which was the day she left Kavexa. And she must have rode all day and not stopped. And presumably, if her horse didn't die, she's camped somewhere north that night and then carried on. But yeah, uh, I'm going to no one... the wizards unless other one wants to do something. Yeah, you just ride in the car on up the road then for now. Um, Ulrich will, at his turn, uh, make the reservations for the party at that inn and go to the bookkeeper. Were we stopping? That was the question. Jack, who voted no? And Tabra also said that you shouldn't stop either. Sport. It's a fairly sunny day. You're under your tent. Yeah. Carry my tent umbrella. Uh, not in the car? Yeah, I, I thought the wagon was covered. <laughs> he gets motion sick. All the oh. right. so, he, so he's just kind of trying to keep up with us then. Yeah. Or, no, the cart's still slower than a person. Yeah, it's not a fast cart. I don't know. What's your basic move like with all your gear? Well, you only need the ten. I think you can manage four, probably. But I reckon that Verth is kind of jogging behind the cart for most of it. <laughs> <laughs> if only he uh, could brew a potion to stop motion sickness. Costs character points. Becomes a mitigator. Gets complicated. Yeah. <laughs> potion mitigators into everything. Make it permanent, because it's pretty expensive to mitigate disadvantages, just with magic. Hmm. But the problem is, she's on horseback. We we have a wagon. So we're not even catching up. Well, yeah. yeah. Can you show? Yeah. This is true. So, the more time passes, the less information we will have, no matter how well we can track her. True. Yeah. There will be things done when she arrives at her destination, and our punctuality in arriving there will ensure that we can mitigate the damage. Yeah, I'm I'm... Jaku just points at the traveling companion and does the like on the nose thing like that. 
Uh, so which uh, wizard did you go to? Uh, the one that was suggested. The first one on, on one. Yeah, on one radio. And the wagon's probably stopped just at the base of this big bridge here. There's a footbridge that has no toll, but you'll have to pay a fee, which is uh, like uh, one silver piece per draft animal, I think. So four silvers to cross the bridge is not much. Still a decent amount. Eight it's, silver. Yeah, it, it is a fair bit. Uh, wait, what? I thought you said one per animal. Don't we have four? No, we have two. No, you got four ox. Oh, we got four ox? I thought it was only yeah, two. Four oxen at one silver is four, not eight. Yeah, four silver. Oh, I heard four per. No, four silver total. Oh, I was like, "Jeez." Okay, um, uh, yeah. If you guys are waiting there for a minute, I'll just pop in and do this real quick. Yeah, uh, it's a fairly cramped little shop, but it goes back deep. You can see it's just the storefront is as small as possible. Uh, there is some young lady behind the counter who smiles at you as you walk in. Hello. Hello. How could I be of assistance there, young Crystal uh, Dethovian? I was hoping to get a letter thing to the next two towns up north. Cover and Azelbor. Ah, uh, sure, if that's the names of them. Uh, yes, my master Fentath can arrange for that. Um... She pulls out a ledger and she's like looking through it. He is a little scheduled this afternoon, but he would be able to get them sent over tomorrow for the normal fee. Well, and I'll kind of look and say, it is about dead children. She like twitches an eyebrow. Like, oh, dead children, you say? That's a serious yeah. concept. I'll put plop it down and uh, can I this is a fast talk to be lay a sad story to get it to today I can would I, say yes yeah give me a fast talk go? just for how you're doing it like it does concern dead children and um, could I give her a bonus but with yeah, some background music no, that oh, would actually no, yeah. detract from it because then you'd be cast it Only by two, but I did make it. Uh, mm, yes, well, I'm sure your message is of the utmost importance. We do offer an expedition fee for uh, one gold crown. If we can Jeez. send messages immediately to the capital or to several towns in Mitha and beyond how much is it for not expedited uh it's a silver piece for a simple message increasing in price depending on how difficult it would be just a silver piece sure. that's not enough no it'd be like 10 silvers sure the picture the wanted poster Ah, yes, this would be fairly difficult to send all of this across. And you do realize that it would only go to a single person. He could describe this image as best as he could, but... Ah, so no, like... Uh, is there, like, a pigeoner in town? Uh, you know? Yes, there's a, uh, a rookery. I, I don't even know what we call it. There's a pigeonhole about. Might want to try in the northeast of town or just west of here, down a few alleys. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll thank her for her time and I will uh, apologize for being ignorant and then head I over to... I believe it wouldn't be pigeonhole, but I believe it would be a shithole of pigeons because they're pigeons. Yeah, they, they poop a lot. It's true. But I will head to the pigeon place. 
uh, shouldn't be a great directions. Uh, and actually, on the way there, I will mention to you, like, you know, if we do this, it'll let her know that we're following her. Yeah, but also slow her down, because she could, can't just move through town at speed. She could, however, then simply avoid the towns. Yeah, she and then is we... on a horse. Yeah, we are on we... a cart. We, we are the we... ones who are restricted to towns. The main yeah. reason you would stop at this town in particular is you need to, to cross the river. There's no other bridge for a hundred knobs in either direction. Frankly, I think I'd rather, because then she can't resupply, she'd have to be hunting. I think it's worth the trouble. Worth the risk. However, she does not believe that she is in any particular rush because she does not know what has happened she's yeah. been in a rush she cruised on through here without slowing down yeah but eventually she will have to stop to sleep and do that kind of stuff yeah and she's gonna have to do that any which way i'd rather make it so she can't resupply and do things like you know okay <laughs> it's a calculated risk, but it's a good one. I'll make a couple of quick checks for you. But if yes, she uh... is talented as her mother was, she will be able to disguise herself when necessary. Well, I can either do nothing or do something. I mean, frankly... Is our pursuit not... Something. Sigmund rolls over in the car and goes like, oh, oh, I just don't see why we should even be traveling together. And then rolls back over. <laughs> and oh, he slaps he his face. Us. Orn gives him the, him the angry eye and floats on down to the uh, pigeonry. Why are we even chasing this witch? Harder to do Sigmund's voice than Tabra's. Do nasally, and you kind of do an impression of Tabra. But you, you go into the shithole of pigeons? Yeah, I mean, yes. Yep, you don't have any trouble finding it once you head into it, but you do realize that you're in a kind of slummy area of town uh, around here. You come across a messenger service that offers, and it is just one silver piece for a message to Campbell. One silver and one copper for a message to Azelbor, and those are the next two towns over. Let's show you the zoomed map quickly. I mean, if she was traveling at that speed, she might have already gotten through the next town. How uh, about Azelborn co cover? Azelborn cover. Uh, one silver and one copper for Azelborn, two silvers for cover. If you wish to hinder her from resupplying, then you will want to send it to Rothmar. Yeah. The, it looks like the next two towns are bridge towns too, right? Uh, no. Have you got Notes area the, knowledge? The thickness for... of the river at Skip is around where ships stop being able to go through. So presumably it's much easier to ford it up there. Mm -hmm. uh, but has anyone got area knowledge for Mitha or all like that? Or the north uh -huh. part? Of... Yeah. Uh, Not geography? Either. Yeah, get some geography. I believe they default to each other at minus four, so... Sounds about right. Let's see how you do. We've used that before. On the nose. Political geography. But, oh, you default to... So physical. Yeah. Uh, you know that there's a a cliff section along here somewhere there's the reason that the road does not go straight like that 
and that it bends so much is that there's cliffs here and a steep incline. A lone rider could probably skip Campbell quite easily, actually. Uh, let me just move that. But you can kind of travel up that way on foot and on horseback. There's just no road. And it's a... Uh, uh, yeah, people have told you already that north, this, this region, it's well known to be a bit lawless, bandity. Well, I'll pay the one silver to send it up to uh, Albasaur. One silver, one copper. Uh huh. And it's ten uh, copper for one silver, right? Uh, yeah. Ow. Oh no, five coppers and a silver. All right, so six cop. You know, I'll send it just to the next two towns. How much total is it in copper? In copper, uh, 11. 11, thank you. I see what you mean about bandits. I can see them in the handouts. Heh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I never moved them into anywhere. Archer, crossbowman. Uh, no, it is five copper to a silver. Yeah. And, but she would pay in. Oh, so yeah, 16 total, because it were two silver to cover. Because she was skipping Campbell, correct? Yeah, she probably skipped it. Uh, let me and just... Any, uh, Go on. Tomato soup companies are listening. We're willing to rename that town. <laughs> and enter a partnership. Yeah. Uh, if anyone wants to buy a town and rename it, uh, it's... 10,000 US dollars. That seems a bit steep. That might go down in the future. The cost of naming a dog is only $15. So, you know. <laughs> Lord Fluffy Bottoms. Yeah, you've got an extra dog. We've not talked about the extra dog. Oh, yeah. I forgot to grab a... Uh... But yes, so, so you've sent pigeons with the pictures. Any short notes? Oh, uh, yeah, just the whole wanted poster, the whole thing, um, and the note on there to the, uh, told to give to the local constables. Uh-huh. Aye, aye. That'll get delivered pretty quickly. Because, yeah, they just put it on a bird and then let the bird go, and the bird automatically goes to where it's trying to go. All right, that's all I need to do in this town. Unless I want, unless we got time to sell... I got time to sell, and how are we doing on food and stuff? Food and stuff? Uh, how much did you buy? Didn't you get, like, uh, two weeks worth? Yes, we did. You've only been traveling two days. Okay. This uh, is our second day. Yeah. Yeah. Not even been does traveling this, two days. Does this town, is this a good town to sell in, or is this a shit town to sell in? Uh, it's pretty good. It's bigger than Campbell or Hazelbar will be. All right, before I leave, I'm going to stop at the jewelers, and then that's all I'm going to do. Definitely more options. Although, uh, it'd be on Tabra to tell you this, but Cova has got lots of jewelers. There are mines near Cova. Uh, but for... wouldn't that make it less valuable? Precious. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. So, uh -huh. <laughs> this is probably the best place, and there's a lot more diversity. Yeah, I'll, I'll sell it. Uh, just do a quick... Merchant skill, and then that's, then that's me. You'd actually see your first Dothovian in a while. Hi! <clears throat> Greetings. Uh, Can yeah. you describe this new Dothovian? About this size. Uh, maybe twice as big as Orn. Um, it's skinnier down at the bottom. I have got other pictures of Dath. I just don't so think I've uploaded it yet. it's still pretty young. Yeah, it's probably only 200 years old-ish. Uh, 
uh, and it is it's not crystally at all it looks uh, more granity but we lots of deep cracks and holes you know like a baked cookie that's kind of what the surface looks like as the granite is ever so slowly yeah. growing and his arms his hands aren't attached to his body like Orns are oh, oh no your hands even attached to your body they are, but they can't operate independently. If they get cut off or separated... Mm, okay. Yeah, no, it is legitimately seem to be floating by the side of him independently. But within, you know, a couple of inches of him still. Well, I'll definitely give a wave. And... Yes. Oh. Greetings. Young one. Though not much younger than me. Selling jewels. Selling a necklace. Did you give us the merchant roll? No, I did not. Merchant. Oh, this is the the merchant. Okay, I thought this was just a guy on the street. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah sorry. You, as you enter the jewelers, you meet your first death in a while. Uh, do I get any bonuses for, like, uh... What's it called? Um, when someone likes you or dislikes you? Uh, uh, a reaction check. Reaction, rolls. reaction check? Uh, it's You'd be substituting the merchant check for the reaction roll. Uh, I'll thing, do the merchant then. And that's, it's kind of like one of those influency. By five. Uh, do you have any... Um, nothing in particular other than... Yeah, okay. I'm memorable. That's uh -huh. what I am. <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh, this is a fine piece. Uh, is it the the necklace that you made? Mm hmm What was the value of that again? Uh, like, 6,900. <laughs> that's like uh, based on the... Mm, oh. That's based on the materials, the things that are built out of, and... Um, the cost modifier for craftsmanship. Mm hmm Would you be willing to accept a trade? I don't know. What do you got? Uh, they can offer you all sorts of, you know, raw materials for jeweling. Chains, pendants, bracelets, billets of gold. Uh, yeah, I'd rather buy those at the town where gems and stuff are really common. So, does he not have the cashy monies? Is uh, he's, he's got enough in gold to give you? All right, so yeah, I'll, but I'll it won't take be gold that. pieces. So it'll be a block of gold. How much would it weigh? Uh, like. 0.6 pounds. No, not that much. 0 0.4 pounds. 0.4 pounds? Yeah. Oh, well, then, then, yeah, then, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Great. Come out of there. We so is, point is that any um, gold. multiplier on that uh, for, so how much is that gold worth in total? Uh, about 9,000. Eight 000. to nine thousand. Cool. Awesome. That's it. I'm done. Great. Uh, and it, you said it was point four. Yeah, point four weight. pounds. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're not even stopping at skip then. That was the stop. I'm guessing. I think so. I sent yeah. things off. Everyone else seems to want to just go. So you can make it about another 20 knobs. And the terrain to the east is barely looking cliffy past here, honestly. You can see them to the north here. But to the east, it's more like a gentle slope. Like a gentle slope that we could possibly... Uh... Without the advantage of having the changed wheels, because... We don't get that on something that's not a road. 
that too. I assume there's like a triangle fork. We don't actually have to go in town. Mm, no, on the you, road. Can, you can switch about there, about uh, 40 knobs from Campbell. You could just change and head for Aeselbo. I think it would be actually quicker if we did that. It would. But yeah, uh, night has fallen and you've made it about this far. Oh, I should just double check. Oh, no, you could actually get a bit further. Ox has been a really good teamster recently. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you get all that way. That way? I don't know where you just went. No, maybe not all that I'm, way. Oh, that's oh, Z that's, that's doing that, not you. No. I have no idea where that far is then, because I was just, I couldn't <laughs> see anything. Past the, uh, but yeah, like that. Uh, you make it to the base of the cliffs. Mm -hmm. And we've been going for, oh, no, not quite because of the countdown. Uh, yeah. Is the plan to set up camp or drive the ox hard? They need a rest. I believe it's to set up camp. We don't want to kill the oxen. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, and uh, it was uh, 20 copper to get the oxen across? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm taking that out of group fund. Is this road even big enough for your cow? I mean, unless before we left... Oh, oh it's too late. Jack, oh, yeah. do you want me to sell those tape tapestries? Uh, I don't think Jacku really cares. Like, Jacku's more interested in getting on the road. Okay. I think he was probably a little annoyed that we stopped to send letters and stuff. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't think Maybe I ever expanded just... this map. Sorry, Spot. Maybe we should just send Jacku after her. <laughs> you probably outrun the horse. I no, mean, horses are quicker. Not under a full load. You might also have difficulty um, being sure it's the right person because he's not. He's met most of the humans he's met in his life in the past year. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> and you it's all look fun. the same. Yeah. yeah. Take a picture. <laughs> What's that look like? That's It'd much be better. like if a human were hunting a bunny. Uh, let's see. So, the ox are about two meters long. Correct. Three X's. Perfect. Yeah, that looks about right. It would, mostly the map were too small. But this looks more road sized. The bitter blockage. Someone's got to clear this log. There's a blockage? Well, <laughs> there is on the map, but you can ignore that. Uh, if it's a problem to us, I could help. Yeah, I'm sure you don't have any trouble Isn't moving. Is Sigmund stronger? Blocks out the road. It's, I think Sigmund is stronger than the bear, yes. Uh, feel free to drag your tokens onto this map. Uh, try and get a bit of a camp set up, shall we? So you can attack us with bandits? Uh, there are bandits in this area, it's true. You are a prime choice. You've not really passed anyone else on the road either, you'd note. Uh, most of the traffic out to skip goes southwest on the river. What could help us we prepare? We stopped in town and waited until morning, so we didn't put you on. <laughs> so, 
That's a nice yeah. little tent. We must travel to the side of the road and set up there. That feels smarter. Try and maneuver your ox wagon in there a bit as well. We can't. Yeah. I... Probably not. Uh, this is what the woods are like a bit further in. Yeah, I'm not getting through that with a cart. No. But you could leave the slaves at the road with a cart to get slaughtered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm staying with the cart. Wait, yeah, we have to no reason to leave in, the like, cart. A few meters. Like, let's not, like, like how you pull off to the side of the road when you need to stop rather than stopping in the middle of the highway. Mm -hmm. Like, that said, uh, how much traffic have we seen on this road? None. Yeah. But still, you just don't be an asshole. <laughs> That's always a good golden rule. Well, then, like, pull it just far enough off to the side. That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> You're all arguing about how to park your caravan. And you get rear-ended at 100 miles an hour by... <laughs> <laughs> so I'll stick your cart down here. How's that for you? Oh, we can't see you on the other map. Oh, my apologies, good sirs. <laughs> oh, okay. Where, where do you set your tents up? Probably down here, into off to the side. You don't really need them on. I mean, I don't even bother with the tents. The cart is perfect. Uh -huh. Some of you don't even sleep. And there is even room for all of you to sleep in the cart. We have well, no any if signals. you guys want to divide all the watches... Like, what, divide a watch, like a four hour. I'll, I'll take the last four. Varith. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I think I heard Burr, but I think it might, ha it might have been something else. Yes. Oh. Burr, it's so <laughs> perfect for Ulrich to have just looked up and said yes at that. <laughs> <laughs> You normally brew potions in the night, correct? Yes, I like doing that. Are you capable of also keeping a watch at that same time? Mm, no, not at all. <laughs> I can watch my potions, but that's of it. Of course. Well, luckily I've got eyeballs. <laughs> so I'll see things and I'll take all the watches <laughs> no need for you to take the last one Usagi because I'll take all the watches and because I'm the best and he draws his broken sword and it is fabulous I, I mean I sleep half as much as like almost all the rest of you so and I sleep half as much as that So, uh, Luke, Tabra can renew a spell for just spending the cost of the duration portion of it, so he'll have renewed the spell. Mm-hmm. Because it's just eight, which is less than his, his reserve. Yeah, uh, I don't think you need to worry about it too much. Uh, just give me one roll, please, against the path skill. One roll for what? Uh, matter. Pathomata. Pretty sure you don't need to do that to renew a spell. I'll You'd be quickly... gathering energy. Give me Pathomagic. Yeah, I don't think you'd have any problem. 
Uh-huh. Wheels continue to be made of the superior wood. Are you spending that night there? Uh, Sigmund takes the first watch and then falls asleep in the car in a big pile of comfy blankets. Leah's asleep all this time. She read a book for a while in the car. Uh, it gets pretty dark. There is no red moon in the sky. Yes, you need to use the same path skill, so I'll roll that. Good enough. Calendar. I'm after the calendar. The current date is in uh, column F. Lovely. And you'll want to change that days of game from 8 to 9 for tomorrow. Perfect, thank you. Uh... Uh, so there's you got like half a white moon in the sky. It's waxing. Um, so it's pretty dark. Does anyone light a fire? No. No I fire. Don't. Spot's got a bit of an aura going. Spot dies. <laughs> Ever so briefly. <laughs> <laughs> Something went wrong with the potion. He tried not to brew a potion. He was just like, maybe tonight I don't have to. But then he just chewed his fingernails down till they were bleeding stumps and started brewing. Uh huh. Uh, Bear, do you need normal amount of sleep? Yeah. It. Mm -hmm. And Usagi, were you planning on getting an early sleep then? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I need that four hours of sleep. I'm, I'm gonna get that, but... Uh-huh. Well, it's, it's around 2 a.m. Who's asleep? Uh, well, I figure I would have gone to bed, like, early. We'd have eaten real quick, and then I'd crawl in the sack, so... I don't know. Nine o'clock ish. Yeah, I think you're and awake now. We ready. also have two guard dogs. Mm-hmm. That too. And I think I sit somewhere dark and just listen, which I critically succeed on, by the way. Yeah, I see that. Uh, I was just bringing up my macro bar, but it feels fairly useless now. Yep. Jakku, you hear people approaching uh, from the northeast. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Where? Oh, I'm way the hell up here. For... Moved. And doggos. Actually... Yeah, everyone who's in the car can roll me IQ, please. Or sleeping nearby it. Uh, what did you say? IQ? Yeah, just roll IQ. Wow, Sigmund is straight awake as well. Sigmund yeah. made IQ? Mm hmm. Lord Fluffy Bottoms is in the back of the car. Like. The question is uh, do I hear them before the dogs? Uh, yeah, you would hear them just before the dogs. Okay, well, I'm going to start making my way north. The... Can I get... Could I have gotten to about there? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Uh, so, yeah, everyone in the car gets woken up by Lord Fluffy Bottoms, who is alert and looking to the north with his ears perked up massively. Ulrig, I think you're in a tent over here. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think Fluffy Bobs has a token yet. I mm, sent you no. one, but, uh... Fluffy Bottoms is fairly young still. Oh, you've sent me one. Yeah. I'll get that in there. 
He doesn't have a tent, just a bunch of furs he sleep on. He sleeps on. Uh, like a sleeping bag? Oh, okay. You sleep under the stars when it's not raining. Mm hmm Okay. And, yeah, Doggo is waking you up. Although you might have just... You probably just woke up because you heard it yourself. You've got yeah, I'll, fancy ears. I'll pick up my axe and rub my eyes to say, look north. That's a big dog. Yeah, probably smaller than that. There we go. Younger dog. You want to sign it to things so we don't have to go through that again? There is a full red moon this night. Is there? I thought it was the night of no moon. Oh, no, that was like a couple of nights ago. So, it, yeah. It's 1 a.m. now, so like both of these days share that end of the lunar calendar. Gotcha. It technically peaks at like noon of this day, so it's as full as it can be at night. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Darkness penalties of probably only about minus five to, you know, like minus eight right next to a tree. But definitely in the open, only minus five. And let me get my tokens on up here. Okay, so yeah. You hear the noises. Jacko, you shuffle north. And you were being stealthy as well. Okie dokie. Can I let Spot know that there seems to be enemies coming in? Uh, Yeah, absolutely. He'll tap it on the mushroom head and say, enemies coming. Are you being sneaky about it? Uh, no, he is just carrying the axe on top of his shoulder. He's not being stealthy at all. Right, yeah. He's saying enemies, not something. No, he said enemies coming as he, the dog started barking and he got the message. The dog didn't bark, it just like... Woke up. Okay. Uh, as the dog alarmed us, uh, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, as the dog alarmed us, he just kind of got the messages... Made sure that I'm Spot is wondering aware. if the message would be, because you said enemies, but yeah, you're not quite sure there it'd be enemies. Oh, if that's the case, um, uh, something's wrong, Spot. Maybe you should stop for now. Uh, uh, what's happening? Uh, it's I don't know. Potion. Okay. I don't know, but it's better if we just. Keep an eye out for now. I wouldn't like you to get surprised by something bad. He's just gonna look around. Mm -hmm. uh, Jacku, you can hear him advancing through the woods. Ulrich, give me a hearing check. Of course. And the well, rest they were of us like... are just up and. Well, well, while they were we... getting up and all that shit, I'd been able to move a bit more, right? Yeah, and yes, the others of you have woken up. Uh, Sigmund would have left the car. Like, stay here, Leah. Drawn his weapon. Um, do we want to take our break now, then? Because um, that checks out. Simon said he'll be here around when we come back from our break. Ah, oh, perfect. And Excellent. We're about to possibly have combat with bandits. Exactly. So, good call. We'll be uh... right back.
We're back. Oh, okay. Oh, and okay. Simon's back. Simon's back, more importantly. Hello, Simon. I've returned from the Nether Realms. N not the Mortal Kombat one. One of the viewers summoned him, and it weren't good. We've lost a viewer because of it. Yeah, I had, I had to take an Uber. <laughs> From... They they kind of they kind of purport they they performed a sacrament when really they just needed to call up like a taxi. But to recap, uh, you are camping on the road. Bandits are known to wander this territory. Spot just set up to brew potions out in the open like he does. Uh, luckily, Jacko heard something, and so did Lord Fluffy Bottoms and Doggo. They woke you up, Sigmund. You've just stepped out and drew drawn your sword. And give me a hearing check, because you might be able to hear these fools as well. They're not being that I'll stealthy. I'll totally do that. When roll 20 Would Tambra be able to, quick. too? Uh, yeah. He's been generally sitting in this part of the cart, right uh -huh. out. Everyone, now that you're awake. <laughs> That's ironic. That is ironic. Should we do turn order? Uh, we should do turn order, probably. <laughs> no yawning. I'll yawn if I want to yawn. Turn order appears. A fight is likely to break out. Before your very eyes, a list pops up with all of our names. Although, actually, part of me was thinking, uh... Even in, like, town, when we're all just, like, mm. doing stuff, it might be easier if we stayed in turn order we should probably keep track of like 10 minute turns or something pretty much yeah yeah just to like make sure that everybody is doing something and you can just say i wait 10 minutes if, yeah, like, yeah in town earlier <laughs> is that everybody oh right i should roll their turns <laughs> apologies yeah, <you're> coward <laughs> i ain't no coward I wonder what you're facing. You're, you're the GM. Why are you wondering? My facing is 30 degrees. Fascinating. Mm, fascinating. <laughs> Metal Gear. Crap, no, it's not. It's 35 degrees. Oh, I keep oh. trying to sneak around. Dumb. My, my ass cheeks keep alerting the guards. <laughs> God, the fact David Hader actually... Uh, sorry, Luke, but I can't... Uh, Lord Fluffy Bottom, I can't select oh. from him. Apologies. God. Worst GM. It's true. I'm on a list. On a list. How about now? And I'll reassociate quickly. Reassociating. It's like disassociating, which I'm also familiar with. Yeah, I do that from time to time. There we go. Descendio. We're looking good. We're looking pretty, pretty good. Jacko, uh, you just heard people advancing. Uh, I feel like I got a pretty good hiding spot. I'm gonna stick with it for now. More radio. Uh, okay, yeah, he's not seeing you. You gonna be turning uh, lighting on? Uh, I may as well. I've not actually set it up for the rocks and stuff, but I can do it pretty quickly. Also, it doesn't quite matter, because unless you want to have elevation be a factor, which would be cool, too. Yeah, but there's not really a way yeah, to do Yeah, it doesn't develop. quite work with elevation. If there were a one-way mirror option, that'd work. Because, like, if you block the rocks, then it... It's like we can't see people standing on top of them. Exactly. 
You could block. Just oh no, because yeah, one way mirror again. Well, I don't mean to be this person, but if we're doing that, uh, Lord Fluffy Bottom does not have sight. <laughs> well, you, you can't see, see that. Do you the dog can follow your hand when you go to buy it? But yeah, Sigmund, you're up. You've just stepped out of the car and drew your sword. Uh, and that'll how did you do on hearing? Yeah, you didn't hear much. But you do see all rig and spot looking ready. Well, that's the okay, case. So I'm going to make sure Lee stays in the car. Oh, yeah. Say you, that. you already told us to stay in the car. Good. All right. uh, you know me too well. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and just move up, like, right here. Uh, actually, I have six. I'll move up right there. That's me turn. Radio. Lord Fluffy Bottoms kind of edges forward towards the edge, uh, whimpering still. I'm like, mm. sticking his head out. Just a little crack. This guy is going to advance a bit as well. Oh, God. They're being noisy as fuck. Like <laughs> you, you hear you hear someone now for sure, Sigmund. Oh, great! Clank a chain mail. Nice. Um, Spot, give me a vision check. can't actually see anyone right now. These poor bastards picked a really bad place to attack you from. 7 out of 14. Mm-hmm. You just saw this person emerge from behind that rock. Have you got a uh, night vision? Dark vision? Yeah, night vision 9. Yeah, no problems. Yeah, he's got a sword out. <gasps> Not a sword. <laughs> Anything but that. Doggo steps forward to here, and he's got like his hackles up, like defended the car position. Ulrich. Hmm. I want to ready my axe and uh, just ready for them to get closer. Mm. I can see them with my night vision, right? Uh, there's rocks blocking. What is your night vision, vision at the minute? Uh, four. It'd be no, vision, vision, vision minus one. If you took a step, you might be able to see him. Uh, okay. So he tries to sneak towards the side of the rock and sees a few people and whispers back to Spot. They're coming. Give me vision minus one. You might not have seen him. Oh, sure. Sorry. Uh, Critical success. Yeah, you, oh. see, you see him. Lots of crits going about. I'm pretty sure I'm going to start critical failing as soon as I attack or mm -hmm. need to dodge. Most likely. Spot, you've got an open alchemy kit in front of you or behind you. Probably oh. a bad time for this question, but has Ulrich been um, having that weird zombie stuff going on from the bite? Uh, that is a weird <laughs> time to ask this question, but I have made a couple of rolls. Yeah, Jared. What I is your we made H already. T? HT is 12, then I thought I made them after the zombie bite. You made some for various things, but no. mm, yeah. He doesn't seem to be turning into a zombie. He's shown no signs of illness. I'll have to amputate. <laughs> um, yeah, his spot's gonna like, hide behind this tree. Okay. Best he can. Give me a stealth check. Stealth. IQ or DX minus five if you've not got it. What is happening? <laughs> so the verse just the dice. disappears in front of that guy's eyes. <sighs> Married with the tree. Or.
Um, no, it's not Orn. It's not Orn. Oh, because Tabber didn't go yet. Yeah, <laughs> he skipped over him. So Tabber. Would Tabra also be able to see uh, this from the back of the cart? Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Tabra could see him. Mm, although, assuming. Yeah, no, there's a bit of slope there. He's too far away to see because of the slope. Uh, you can see, no, he's, like. He's the, over the slope. Once he gets to here, you'd be able to see his top half. You can tell where everyone else has gone, though, so. Yeah, you can That's straight better. see. Most people look in that way. By there, you'd probably spot him. Yeah. And then it's on, I believe. Jesus, cat. <laughs> you're getting cat. You muted Tira in case you're talking. Probably like having to separate your cats with like a stick. From Kyle. She's got the forceps. <laughs> Peeling them off, whoever that person is. <laughs> Jakku. Uh, I am going to maintain my hidden position. Righty up. That it? Yeah, that that's it. I'm I'm just like do nothing. Okay. He's gonna move a bit further forward. They're trying to be sneaky, but not doing a great job. You would most likely hear the person on the other side of the tree to you, Jacko. Okay. I just moved them all. What am I doing? <laughs> Sigmund. And the swordsmen are not being sneaky. Oh, that's right. I, I want to be sneaky, so bear with me for just a moment. And there's like a minus five penalty if I move more than one, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll there because I just moved. Wow. Um, what is happening? And give me. <laughs> that's not a crit, though. No. Close. No, it's not, but it's still a damn good roll. Yeah, success by nine in a quick contest is kind of game over, usually. Yeah. You know, unless <laughs> it's a supers game. <laughs> Cosmic, no rule of 16. Cosmic, just, just die already, please. <laughs> Ew, coy. Uh, Lord Fluffy Bottoms is going to hop out of the court. Court? Ops out of the cat. Uh, Man, up. this is weird looking cart. So they've all advanced and not been sneaky at all. Doggo moves up a bit. Thinking tactically for a dog. As tactically as a dog can. Defend Leah is pretty much what Doggo has been taught. Ulrich. Can I hum a song without alerting them, or that would be too much? <laughs> uh, uh, mostly for the 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 one for DR. You Sorry, can what you... to cast a spell. Yes. You can like whisper sing it, I think, or try to anyway. Like for example, what do you need me sing minus? It... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want to try to make it creepy. <laughs> Calling in my... Yep. Uh, uh, you, just the straight singing. Okay. Uh, I don't need a roll to whisper. 
but they get a roll to try and hear. Okay, uh, that would be uh, plus four to Ulrich, and I'm not sure if Spot is able to get this benefit behind me. Uh, what's, what's the range? What's the range, and what's the, uh, what's the spell? Two yards and iron hide. Plus just four you. to the art. Yeah, just you. Okay. I get plus four temporarily DR for two minutes. Wait out. And is that less concentrating to Yeah. Spot. You've got pretty amazing hiding spot. Spot. Yeah. Uh, I think Spot's gonna stay in his hiding spot. Okay. And he's just gonna uh pull out a little grenade potion. Okay. <laughs> what kind of potion is that? It's a grenade. <laughs> it's just a grenade. <laughs> Ready's a potion. Don't look like you fast drew it. Tabra. So Tabra has a slight bit of elevation if he takes a bit of movement over here, correct? Yeah. You can see top of that guy's head from there. And it would presumably be a bit harder to see a small um, Ascada lying down on a little block. Yeah, right. very. And he wouldn't. Would he have a penalty if he were lying down with a, or, lying down with a crossbow? Uh, to fire. I, yeah. I don't think there's any penalties to shoot there a ranged weapon. There are penalties weapon. listed for, your position, when you're. For melee attack and ranged target, but they seem kind of. Weird, because. Lying down would actually help you. Uh, For bows, it would certainly be the case, but not crossbows. Yeah, I don't see anything in the GM screen about uh, attacker's posture. So he had no penalty for being laid down with a crossbow. Yeah, it only affects your attack or your target in, if you're melee. And he'll do so stealthily. Roger that. He'll try to do so stealthily. Uh, that guy, uh, he, he's still not really looking at you. He's looking down towards the car. Orn. And also a small guy in dark robes. Yep. Defensive maneuver. Okay. You did have last turn as well. We missed you. Radio. Jacko. All right. I am going to come around to the corner there. Move to there. And, uh, we're going to go all out telegraphed. Oh, this is the other thing. So I'm getting to him. Uh, yeah, so this is all out telegraphed. Is he wearing armor? Uh, yeah, he's got chain mail on. Or, no, he, it's just, like, hard boiled leathers on the torso. Okay. Then, uh... I guess we're gonna do... No, they haven't tried to hurt you yet. It looks like a bandit, right? They're sneaking up on us with weapons. Yeah, he's... Sneaking. He's, sneaking is a pretty strong word. He's trying to be sneaky. And he's got an arrow knocked. And he doesn't look to be wearing any. Okay. You're going to do the power blow. You're going to do it in this fashion. Uh, this is all out... Uh, telegraphed. So... 
plus five, I believe. Yep. Plus four, I believe, for Telegraph. So Telegraph is plus four, that's plus seven. Uh, wow. Uh, so Telegraph gives a plus two to your active defenses. Normally you won't get to dodge this, but he rolled a six to hear you pop out from behind that tree. Uh. And then he rolled a five to even be able to react to it in time. So he's a pretty lucky archer. But he's still got to dodge. But it'll even itself out, I believe. Although, no, from the side is still an extra minus two. Yeah. I... yeah. So minus two overall. And that's a horrible failure. <laughs> he tries to step so he... to here and turn, but you get him. Turns just in time. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> I have a wonderful time. Yeah, that's that's painful. Yeah, yeah. That, that damage's been a little bit upgraded since the last time I saw it. No, <laughs> no, uh, I I used the power blow. That cost me an FP, so like I can't do that a whole bunch. <laughs> like, right? I forgot. I forgot power blow exists and forgot that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, like that's that's well. not a thing that I can do a lot of sustained combat, but... You've decapitated him. You've run up and chopped this guy's head off. Yo, he's dead! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they, they got Jamie! No! <laughs> Anybody else notice that? Do you consider this a silent takedown? Not particularly. <laughs> but no so one. Jaku has no tactical training, right? Uh... No. <laughs> no. Who here? Because really he has could have waited for them to advance. Mm hmm. Uh, I think he were the yeah, only. Yeah, but I'm impulsive. Archer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sigmund. To this party? Okay, can I roll to see if I hear the person get literally <laughs> Yeah, a, a, a straight hearing check to hear that. I have a clear line of sight. Oh, spot. <laughs> Probably the only person who actually saw it, other than Jakku and the person it happened to. Can mushrooms <laughs> pee their pants? <laughs> In pleasure. If I had. But Sigmund, you're up. Well, that's great. So I'm going to just continue uh, along my way. It's kind of like there. Uh, yep, that's my, that's my one move for the turn. You definitely heard a head come off. You heard like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Great. Thump. Thump, yeah. Uh, at this point, Lord Fluffy Bottoms starts barking his tits off. Just... <laughs> and Doggo will follow very soon. So these... Clip that quick ever. <laughs> My barking. <laughs> you don't have to be quick. <laughs> uh, he's gonna turn and Yeah, uh, he's got a plus 10 because it's out in the open there. He sees his friend's body on the floor with the head rolling and the, all the blood. And he goes, holy shit! And his friend is going to turn. Oh my god, what a fucking idiot. Shit. Why do I act impulsively? He's going to run for this rock. And this person, he, he steps out and turns. And sees and aims at Jakku. Yes, aims at Jakku. Doggo. <laughs> Doggo is a bit trained. He might actually run forward. Feel free to control the Doggo if you want, Terra. Uh, he's trained to protect Leah. He's probably howling. Oh, okay. Just alarm sound. Aldrich. I'll move here. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five. No, 
here. And see if I can attract some of their attention by speaking a little bit uh, louder. Feel the weight of what we owe. Oh, okay. <laughs> we all left together, I guess. <laughs> Spot. I'm gonna. Uh, should I aim here? I mean, he's just gonna move. Uh, no, I'm gonna wait until this guy uh, comes closer. Yeah. Okay. Finger in your grenade there. Mm hmm. It's like, oh, wait till you taste my potion of exploding. Tabura. Tabra's gonna go and head and aim at this guy here. Voidio. The northerly one. Yes, at his vitals. Aiming. Do you wanna mark him? Oh, that's smart. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> On. Uh, Leah, Just defensive maneuver. Leah is putting on her. She she's already got the boiled leather jacket. Is it on? Yeah, it's a jacket. Yeah, and she'll have picked up the dagger now, and she's like got her wrist charms ready as well. Yeah, I'm full on just defensive maneuver. Mm -hmm. Jacku. <laughs> You're evil. And this is a move and attack, so this is first a nine. Uh huh. But we might as well make it first a nine doing. Oh god, this one does not hear you coming. How? Although that is a good question. Uh, no, it's oh. it's an attack from behind it, but you miss. But I miss. He probably notices you now, though. Jack, uh, Sigmund. Yeah. <laughs> There's my turn. Only moving one a turn. That's what I do, unless I get a massive penalty to my stealth roll. Uh, you're feeling like stealth might be gone at this point, although Spot is still pretending to be a tree pretty well. Uh, a lot of fluffy bottoms switches to howling like doggo now. Hard to resist when another dog starts howling. Someone just started singing. And he's going to say, who the fuck is that? Uh, I think he's going to turn... Take a step and go all out defense. Dodge. This crossbowman aimed at Jack Ober, he lost his sight. You forgot the other swordsman. The other swordsman. Apologies. It's like, oh, the bunny. The person singing. He tries to be stealthy and go behind this rock. Uh, give me a vision check. I'm pretty sure you don't lose any of him. Mine is one, right? Uh, not you, uh, oh. Tabra. But yeah, no, you, you're fine. You can't, he can't out stealth your eyes when you're looking right at him. Hmm. Uh, he's gonna turn and just try and shoot. Oh, but the bulk, the bulk. Oh, I can step out to see though. He's not even in C. That's still one. Oh, yeah, that, of course. The book makes a big deal about being yep. um, when you're in close combat, but it doesn't specify that you're almost never in close combat. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. It'd still be good to back up, though, because it doesn't hurt him. <laughs> oh, on the nose. He jumps back and pulls the trigger. 
Let's see, so I have to do a dodge and drop? Uh, yeah, if you want to get the retreat bonus, you have to hit the floor. Otherwise, you can't add a retreat. What if I'm moving into this cover? Uh, yeah, you still get the plus three. Even if you weren't moving into cover. The drawback is that you change posture to laying. Oh, but if I just do a regular dodge, I don't have to? Uh-huh. Yeah. A regular dodge uh -huh. doesn't involve moving anywhere. <laughs> Acrobatic You were so worried about that. Neo, the bunny, leans <laughs> back as the crossbow bolt flies over his face and it's that tree behind him. Thung! It, it takes one whisker with it. <laughs> In slow motion. Arrgh. Ulrich. Can I ready until he's close enough to strike him before he strikes me? Uh, You can wait to attack him if yes. he enters a hex. I'd like to do that. You might also want to be on a hex. I thought it was on a hex. Yeah, he is on a hex. He is. He's bigger oh, than that. Oh, right, hex. right. It just looks like he's in the middle of a flower. I was confused. Yeah, he's a big boy. <laughs> Roydio, waiting to attack if he enters this hex. Uh, I think reaches one, so it has to be one more. Okay. Uh, no, two. That I can do that uh, on two. Sport. Should have aimed at this guy. Yeah, I should. You know what? I'm just gonna throw my thing at his head. Oh. Let's hope you miss. Yeah. Where's my throwing skill? Throwing skill. Amazing 11. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why are you even trying this? There is a plus four for hitting the, the hex he's in and a minus five for distance. Yeah. yeah. You could yeah. go all out for a plus two. Plus one. Plus one on ranged attack. Is it only plus one on a ranged attack? Yep. Plus four yeah. for melee, plus one for range. Terrible. And, ah. This is great, bro. Let's go. Aliens got your bit. Oh, wow. Ever, your, your... Noise. your mic's making a terrible sound. Oh, is that. Ever? Oh, sorry. A rustly we got. Uh, Someone's jimmies are getting rustled off in the distance. Yeah, it, it hits right at his feet. The rustling's gone, but you're a lot quieter, ever. Oh, uh, I was just whispering. Didn't want to interrupt. Oh, no. Yeah, that sounds good. But yeah, the, <laughs> the grenade lands right at his feet. And he gets a health or wheel roll to try to resist. Oh, idiot. Yeah. A quick counter. I made mine by six. Uh, health is slightly better. I think you won. Some part to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's gonna take 2d plus 2 damage worth of explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Internal damage. Oh, this is just rude. Roll me the damage. Sorry, what? Is Are you afflicting him with diarrhea or are you just destroying his insides. So. I'm doing both. Is it explosive damage? Uh, no, no, it's crushing damage. Just crushing. It's internal crushing damage. Mm -hmm. And are you also afflicting him with diarrhea or no? No, no, it's just for flavor. Well, I, I don't recommend flavor that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I mean, the Hogwarts jelly beans were enough. <laughs> uh, you're a mate. You're at minus five when you receive a major wound for the knockdown check, aren't you? Yes. Yep. Uh, so he just falls over onto his knees and face, going like, ah! Clutching his guts as blood leaks out of his butt crack. <laughs> we're adults. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm still in high school. I'm a 14-year-old boy. Tabra. Tabra will fire him back. I feel like I should Plus reiterate. Plus one for bracing. Correct. That, uh, yeah. If you braced it. Hence being on the ground. Bracing usually takes a ready maneuver as well, still. You'd have to, like, roll into position. Shuffle a bit, probably. Would that have counted when he was getting... Yeah, because... Lying down? Yeah. You could have pretty much just jumped on the floor the turn before, rather than... Aye, aye. I'll allow it. I assume he doesn't even see Tabra? No, does... He, he does not. You hit. It's only 30 damage. That was the vitals, right? Yeah. Wow. In the heart. Oh, but you're too late. Oh. <laughs> he, you give love a bad name. So you pull the trigger there and and just he don't even make a noise. He just falls back dead. Brutal. Possibly scraping against the rock with metal. Yeah, that that noise is made a clatter of sword. But he don't get a chance to make any noise before he dies and Orny is still just hiding in there uh, no I, I'm gonna uh, make the most inhuman screeching demon noise again <laughs> is this intimidate or acting uh... no I'll do intimidate this time I'm trying to scare him would, would that be it or yeah, you might scare everyone. Might not sound like a demon. Isn't but... Orn hiding in the cart? He, she was. She took a couple of all out defenses in the cart. So she doesn't even know what's going on. She's just like. You've heard a couple of noises, extreme. yeah. The dogs, the dog. I, I've heard shouting. Uh, some people say obscenities. I've heard the dogs start howling. Things are happening. I'm making. There, scary things are happening. I'm making my. Usual scary noises. I'll allow it. Uh, I think Lord Fluffy Bottoms and Doggo immediately stop howling. Yep. Yeah. The person on floor is still groaning. Jakku. Uh, do I have to make a save for that or? You've heard me make these noises before. I have, but you probably know it's me. Uh, most of you can probably tell it's on, because it sounds like on. Infernal yeah. screeching. Yeah. Yeah, that's on. Yeah, I don't think any of you need to worry about it. You've not got mimicry or anything, have you, on? No, this is just me making scary sounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying. Basically, I'm trying to distract the people from Jakku and all the guys from you know. You can all tell it's on. Okay. But the guard, so, the guys don't know. I am gonna step forward. Let's see. 
What are you doing then, Jakku? Sorry. Describe then... it. We can see a token Jakku... moving forward, but what does Jakku do? Uh, sorry. Uh, Jakku, step forward. I, I was whispering into my mic. I don't pick it up. <laughs> Uh, Jakku steps forward and is going to, he's doing that power blow, and he's going to, gonna, is this guy wearing armor? Uh, yeah, also, this guy has got chain mail on, uh, you can see. Uh, down to his knees? Uh, yeah, not quite his knees. And he's got some leather chappy looking things on. Alright, then I'm going for his knees. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> uh, no, that's as good as it gets. He's going to spend that an is. FP. Oh, shit. He's got telegraphic. Or not telegraphic. Deceptive. Deceptive. Mm. But I forgot. You I'm forgot. Idiot. His friend went down so easy that maybe you would just try and showboat a bit. But Sigmund. Uh. Definitely sounds a fighting going on past yeah, the rocks. Yes, just yeah. Once again, I've been bamboozled for tactics. I'll just go ahead and move up here. Uh, let's make a quick check here. Lord Fluffy Bottoms doesn't just bolt into the woods immediately, but he does kind of go like, <gasps> like turns to stare at the caravan. <laughs> this guy's on his knees uh, trying to recover from stun does not manage to uh, this guy is gonna he just throws his crossbow down and runs this way as far as he can <laughs> <laughs> there's a crossbow at your feet there uh, the other one is gonna step. Did he aim at you last turn? Someone help me out. Did he aim at Jakku last he turn? He aimed a couple turns ago, but uh, he, he lost. He sight. lost it. Oh, oh! No chance with a vision penalties. He's gonna aim at Jakku now. He's like, ah! Oh. He's seen his friend run away. A bit scary. Doggo is also scared of the demonic sounds that Orn's making. It's just like, Rrr. and then he's gonna start barking at the caravan now. Ruff, ruff. Ulrich. Uh, would I have been able to move if this guy was unmovable because of the bombing? Huh? Because of the bombing? I think I thought this guy was vomiting because of uh, an ability. Uh... No, he, he's just no, knocked no. unconscious. He's stunned. Oh, okay. Not he took internal damage. There was no vomit, no diarrhea. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take his sword so that he does not try to stab us. Well, you can run up to his sword this turn. Okay. And crouch. Uh, I'm crouch, leaning to it, and that's my turn. Uh huh. Sport. There's not like a timed. Persistent damage over here, is he? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's just when it breaks. Okay. Just checking. Uh, yeah, Spot's just gonna look around, see if there's anyone else. Mm, nothing in particular. Trees. Mm -hmm. Tabra. Tabra's gonna stand up and shout. Lay down your arms. On. Oh, defense. <laughs> Radio. Jakku. Uh. Let's 
So this is verse a nine. Are you adding any deceptives to it? You may as well take it down to a nine with deceptives. Yeah, okay, so 17. Minus four for moving attack? Wait, you can do that? Do what? When you move an attack, a se effective skill can't exceed nine. So oh, yeah. if your effective skill's at 11, you may as well add you... a deceptive on your move an attack. Okay, so I'm at a 17. I'll take a minus 4, plus it's a runaround attack. He's already at minus 2 for that. So... Nope. Oh, close. Biffed it. Sigmund. Just gonna go ahead and... Do, do, do. Dude, dude, that guy's like basically bleeding out on the ground, right? Uh, this guy, yeah. Uh, he's stunned at the minute. It's only, he looks like he could get back up and carry on fighting. Okay. But uh, Ulrich is like stood on his sword at the minute and reaching I down to pick it, it up. <laughs> I'm quite just moving to there though, otherwise. Yeah, moved there otherwise for now. Roggy's not doing much. Let's see if he can recover from stun. He can. He His eyes, like, flicker back into consciousness. He's like, oh! Kind of vaguely remembers hearing someone say, throw down your arms. This person's not going to throw it down, but he's going to start running this way. <laughs> <laughs> That goddamn buddy! Get about that far over. <laughs> Roots. Ulrich. I'll take his pretty kitchen knife that you guys call a sword. I believe you have to enter, um, you have to grapple his hand, I believe. He, he dropped it when he fell unconscious. Oh, wait, unconscious? I thought he was stunned. He was stunned, but that's like, you know, you stunned. Don't you drop anything floor. you have in your hands when you get stunned? Yeah. Unless it's, like, attached to your hand. Oh no, sorry, a major wound. But yeah, that's what. He suffered a major wound, rolled for knockdown and stun. Failed. Failed to recover on the last turn. Recovered on this turn. Oh, so he's lying on the ground, too. Yep. And Ulrich, you can pick his sword up and return to standing on this turn. Okay, I do that. But then spot... <sighs> If anything, get back to brewing. He <laughs> moves in one yard. Get back to brewing. No, no, Spot probably starts to smell fresh human blood. Oh, yeah, no, this isn't brewing time. This is gathering time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a severed head over there that I need. <laughs> he's got to grind this head down and stick it in a jar. <laughs> you terrible Spot. Uh, Tabra, you were shouting. Tabra takes a little step, and yeah, I think what he said last time fits in a single sentence. Yeah. Lay down your arms, and you will start to um, grab a wooden shaft from his hip. Ooh. Sounds good. On. Whatever. Fallout defense. <laughs> Jakku. It's about to end very uh, soon, I think. What did this guy do? He's running currently. Like, when he saw you uh, come past, he was like, oh shit! Yeah, but He's the he, one you snuck up behind, he dodged, and, or no, well, you missed, and then he Yeah, uh, I think this guy... I think Luke moved this guy last turn, but not this guy. Oh, this guy never moved. My apologies, yeah. he would have carried on running at his full speed. I mean, I shouldn't have said anything technically, but no. That's a you gotta you gotta try and fast talk the GM in real life. It's super easy on me.
You need shurikens. Oh my god. Beefy bunny sprinting past him to attack him. And... Uh oh. Do this again. Bonus. I'm gonna do. Uh, this four on a deceptive attack. This. A nine. <laughs> uh, roll on the crit fail table. That's a seven. Uh. Seven, lose your balance, do nothing else, not even free action, active defense at minus two. So you swing at him and miss and put yourself off kill for doing it. Yeah. No good. I hyperextend that one. Mm. Wow. Sigmund. Um... I don't see anyone else right now, so... You can hear a guy running away on the other side of that rock. I I can't chase him. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, no survivors. We're just going to kill this one right here. What do you? Just go ahead and swing at his throw. He could still technically attempt to dodge. But it'd be... I mean, he could. It'd but he's be... laying down, so I believe that's minus two to he's active defense. laying down, he's at zero HP. Oh, yeah. He... Just did... minus three did... to defend from the did... uh, line down. Did you just say fuck it on that self control roll? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll roll for it to see if it makes sense, and then I think about it, it's like, no, we'll just kill him. Like. Oh, I, I just figured if you were going to take him prisoner. Jaku would wind up finishing the battle by walking yeah. up to him, rolling his bloodlust. Yeah, like, it ain't no survivors. I might just kill this guy anyway. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Minus two to the throat. Um, out of character, should we not at least leave one alive so that we know where their base is and maybe most of their loot? Oh, it'd be a smart have... idea to take one of them, but Taxis is out of the window at this point, and it's not exactly... Sigmund style will leave anyone. Yeah. Um, Crit failed Jaku his active and defense Oren role. need leashes. <laughs> oh, he crit failed? Okay. Well, crit failed active guy. defense roll and showed you his throat. He rolled to it. <laughs> yeah, he rolled over a little lump and he were in the perfect executioner's block position. Mm -hmm. That's. 30 damage to the 30, 30 that yeah, takes him to minus 30 exactly. Uh, so that's only actually minus 2. But it, it still cuts his head well off. <laughs> we had roll HT to try and keep your head attached to your body. It's pretty much what this game is. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep in mind, uh, the, the whole thing is like no survivors. Also, is uh, if any of them do come back, if they've seen these like techniques before, they either don't work on them or they have a plus one to actually defend against them. Mm -hmm. That that's actually a targeted attack uh, description. Oh. So, so if they've like spectated sure before or anything like that, isn't that specifically to martial arts styles, not targeted attack? Uh, it is with targeted attack, last I checked. Uh, I'll, I'll just double check right here while we continue, don't worry. I, I think targeted attack is part of, like, martial arts styles. Oh, it no, is. targeted so, attack no. is its own thing. It's not, like, seeing it before is when you're using a specific martial arts style, because it gives you other bonuses, too. Mm, I think you're right. It's not a general rule. But, uh, let's... I just remember it being the other one. In the Slayer. And it was there. Look quickly at this guy. He does, in fact, throw down his crossbow as the voice behind him is commanding and runs away from the scary screech of ghosts and heads that just fall off and what seems to be one of those jester rabbits chopping everyone up. 
He thinks he's tripping balls right now, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this guy is also just going to like scream and be like, No, please! <laughs> and, and run. Carry on running. He ends up there, actually. Uh, Ulrig, if you trying to chase after the person who's running away to the north. There's no way I'm going to get there before Jackal. Spot. Yeah, there two people. Th there's two people left, but they're both running in. Kind of one's running northwest, one's running northeast. Neither have got crossbows anymore. Might as well pick them up. It's pretty much only Jakku that'd be able to interact with him anymore. So Jakku, if you're planning on interacting with anyone. Uh, I mean, I basically just want to run this guy down and kill his ass. Yeah, if you didn't run in front of him, he wouldn't even get an active defense. <laughs> it's... He's just... Wait, how far was that? Shit, where was Yeah, you could do all-out attack. I can, in fact. I'm going to all-out telegraph it, but I want to do uh, the plus one per die. Mm -hmm. All-out strong telegraphed. Strong. We might as well need this. Aiming for... Telegraph to the plus four? Yep. Stabbing his ass in the heart. Very good. You've used this on a wizard before. Uh -huh. It's kind of a Is running trend. Stabbing his ass in the heart? <laughs> <laughs> stabbing his ass in the heart, that's correct. <laughs> okay, yeah, go fuck yourself. Wow, that was terrible. Is that actually a chinkin armor shot? Yes. Well. Well. Wouldn't chainmail not suffer from chinks in armor though? Uh. Like that's for plate mail and the like. Yeah, that's that's mm. like for plate and like mm. slash. Which Jaku would have noticed before. Yup. Yup. Yeah, he has got some DR. Okay, then in that case, I I think... It's still a... Oh, but it still comes out at times three. It still puts him at that. Uh, so this is... And it was a major wound. So it's technically at minus five. So he drops to the floor as you stab him in the back. <laughs> it scraped a lung. I think we can end turn order now. Oh. Then I think Jaku's gonna go run this guy down and kill him. <laughs> You're gonna run after him as well? Yeah. Oh, wow. You want me to, like, roll a listening check? There's a voice in my head telling me I need to do this to make the numbers go up for a kill counter. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to run him down because he just tried to vault over a particularly thick root and fell on his face. Ah, okay. He that's, is. That's the GM offering him to you. He's on his back as you're approaching, though, and he's like, "Please no, please God no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." And he's closing his eyes, and you do see he pisses his pants. When everything calms down, I think looting will begin. Mm -hmm. I I think you slice his <laughs> throat, yeah. Just a slash across the throat and he just bleeds out there. Uh, yeah, well then I'll wipe yeah. my sword off on a piece of his clothes and put it away. Great time for a break there. On that note, hmm. we'll be right back.
we're back. Bandits have just attacked and failed hideously. They did not know what they were going into. Uh, Jakku was even more ruthless than I expected. And chased two down that tried to flee and cut the throats. Oh, well, stabbed one through the heart. Probably also cut his throat. And that's where we're at. Uh, Sigmund straight up cut one's head off. There are two chopped off heads. Two decapitations. In case you're counting at home there. <laughs> Guess the right number at the end of the session. You will receive a lotto ticket. Yeah, well, All um, right. we should do a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Guess the number of decapitations anyway. to win a severed head. Alright, loot time. <laughs> Any money that? that's found goes from the group fund. Mm -hmm. These guys are or kind of pitiful. Says, uh, and no one hears because she's in the wagon. So quick, loot all the money while Ord's not there. Tavra will just head back to the cart because these are lowly bandits. 43 copper pieces. Yeah, that you can put that in the group fund. I'm just more or less actually searching for anything significant. Some chain mail. Like, or... Some chain mail with holes in it. Two long swords, two crossbows, and a long bow. I'll take that long bow. Uh, he's so got I a few arrows. I already have like 40 plus arrows for the cart. Yeah, he's got like four bodkins, ten barbed. I'll take that. Uh, I believe it's better than my regular bow as well. Yeah, it's thrust plus two instead of thrust plus one, so I'll take that. Uh, cool. Is it for the right strength? Uh, it's rated for strength 13. I mean, it, does it work off your striking strength, or what kind of strength for it? Uh, what's your arm strength? Your arm strength? Like, uh... uh it, you lift that's how you fire into the cloud. Striking strength, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If it's striking strength, I have 15. So yeah, you could use it, but it, you'd only be able to fire up to thrust of 13 strength plus 2. You're stronger okay, yeah, than yeah, yeah. I, that I, bow. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I know how bows work. Yeah, yeah. I was just... Oh. I was, yeah, like... Just for, any, for anyone watching, it's a... Uh, Welcome to school. Count them. Two decapitations, one longbow. The the longbow strength of the basic book is uh, strength 11. Uh-huh. Uh, but you get it custom-made to your strength. Okay. All right, well, I, I would argue strength. against that. I'll take, I'll take 13 strength on a bow. Uh. Other than that, uh, anything like damage orders? Is limited damage. by what the strength rating of the bow is rather than your strength? Yeah. Unless the bow was built for someone much stronger than you. Which apparently it was. It's 13 instead of an 11. Either way, are there any like orders or any kind of important stuff? or No. no. Just uh, they've just got a couple of random trinkets on them each. Uh, you know, like a mug. Uh, a you little know, girl's doll that she gave her father before he left to go and do his banditry. Yeah. Do you think there's that kind of emotional depth in this game? What are you talking about? There's a small corn husk doll, for sure. Not how, many, how many barbed arrows did you say there were? Like ten? Ten barbed arrows, yeah. There's a bunch of crossbow bolts as well. Just regular ones, but there's 16 of them. Total. Uh, no, one got fired. Although you... Yeah, no, one got destroyed in a tree. So there's 15 crossbow bolts. We should definitely take the swords. Probably the most valuable ones. Uh -huh. Swords are two long swords, swords, right? It's in the right spot. Sorry? And the guts and viscera, right spot? <laughs> <laughs> Ingredients, yes. He is already right har harvesting. He's already harvesting. 
Uh, roll me squeamish check, Ulrich. Can't believe I asked for that when the head got chopped off in front of you. Uh, <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Uh, traits. You've seen that like three times now, you'd, you'd probably get away with it. Uh, I think I might be getting used to it. On the nose, but uh, it's definitely hard to watch him. I imagine he's going in through the uh, anus where he did the internal damage near. Ew, 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 he's got a little like pan. <laughs> held underneath as he scoops out the viscera. Sounds like Ever himself might need to do a squeamish roll. No, 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 that's all in Ulrich. I'm okay with the grossness. Yeah, no, that's, Ever sees that shit every day, bro. What are you on about? I'm scooping out people's insides all day long. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sent room quiet. Jakku, <laughs> are you up to anything? Uh, yeah. I'm searching this guy's pockets. Uh, yeah. Uh, did I mention the coppers? It were like 40 summit coppers you found total. 43, I think. Oh, or just like in all these guys? Okay. Yeah. Actually, then I guess if these guys are going through the pockets, Jakku doesn't do that. He, uh... You just drag the body over. Yeah, just drag the body over. Mention that there's another one up here. <laughs> but other than that, they they did just seem to be randomly preying on the wagon there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. we have that. Did uh, we add the 40 copper to the group loot, by the way? I've not added it, but anyone can feel free to. It's like I... an extra 40 bucks there for killing, like, I, a lot of people. I'm at Fair trade now. to me. There you go. Eight ninety nine in your group fund. Nice. Sweet. But I, if there's no complaints, I think we can skip ahead. You all die in the Good night. Morning of eaten by ghouls. Sorry, sorry about that, Tabra. What day is it? Eman Dirthe of thirteen. There you go. It's uh, getting close to summer, late spring. And the plan is just to continue north, and you weren't going to stop at Campbell for any soup. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I don't see any particular reason to. <laughs> Unless they're offering bounty rewards on dead bandits. Yeah. They might be. We should continue on towards our goal, and not tarry. Yeah. Jack, who's actually with you on that one. Do you do anything with the bodies? No. Leave them bugs. Um, I think Spot does. Does Spot do anything after he's taken bits out of the bodies? I guess you would ask if we should find the bodies. Take a big fire to burn all these moist idiots, maybe. I don't know how good these human moist. burns. No response, but everyone ignores you as you're cooking up breakfast. As you gesture to the <laughs> pile of dead bodies. <laughs> like, should we burn these? I mean, I think, I, I think Sigmund kind of gives, like, a little bit of a weird look, but at the same time, he's... What are traditional burial practices like here? Uh, there's lots. Um, although that's not particularly true. 
They're just bandits. That seems like effort. Cremation is very common. Rich people get tombs. If you wish, Spot, drag them into a pile and I shall ignite them. I think he already meant a neat pile. Okay. Wow, yeah, Jacko. <clears throat> He makes he a pile. That. Getting good at methan. Pile of bodies. Pile of bodies. Right, Tepper's gonna cast light flammable object. Mm-hmm. Which would cost um six, because he'll he'll just target one thing and then he'll just strengthen the flames and it'll spread. Uh-huh. Um those don't even use his full reserve, so just um Path of energy. I don't think inanimate objects get resistance checks, but even if they did, you still make it. No, it's only living things, because then it's like who you are affects how magic affects you. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, you get a fire roaring pretty quickly. I imagine the first thing Spot does is drain the blood. <laughs> yeah, all totally. Specifically, what the, what the second spell does is it doubles the strength of a fire. Mm -hmm. So however much they would have naturally burned, twice that strength. Wish like someone's got the bellows on it. And I, we have a nice breakfast followed by cremation for, what were it, like five, six unknown men? Five. The two swordsmen who died near each other, the uh, one archer who was killed right away, and the two who ran. Uh-huh. Didn't get far, though. So, yeah, you, you do cremate the bandits. That's nice of you. Maybe I'll give you some karma. That's, that's nice of you. And I imagine you're right. setting off Dornish. So you could probably make it further than Aeselbor. Ace, You'd probably arrive there about... Uh, 5 p.m.-ish at the latest. We you greased I, wheels? I think Orn should follow up on her uh, pigeons here. Uh huh, that's correct. Pigeons were sent here two days ago. Uh, we've got information on this place. And there is a map as well. Oh! Oh, there is no map. Where's the map? There's a map of Campbell. That's no good. Oh, I'll just take you to skip. That'd be rude. Did I not make a map for this place? I'm sure I did. It's on a river, right? Yeah. I think we can just use Campbell. They've got similar populations. <laughs> <laughs> Those two towns seem like almost the same. Or did we go the wrong this way? This place is the place we didn't even go to. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good point. But yeah, yeah, legit. This is Aeselbor. Shifty eyes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. So you'd arrive from the south. Coming on up this road, you hit farmland for the first time in a while uh, as you make it past that cliffy part. And the farmland doesn't really get much closer than this to the town before it's too craggy to build on. Uh, you have seen a lot of woods, though. More woods than you had recently off to the side. 
Okay. Probably even have been good hunting opportunity on the road. For those of you boorish enough to eat meat. Some people need to. We get it, mm -hmm. you're vegan. Um... <laughs> 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 you broke James. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, that that just that that was a stronger than response than I fucking expected. Woo, that one that one's going in the routine. <laughs> <laughs> gotta just gotta jot that down in the script right here. Shit. Just this material, it's gold, I Jerry. Lose that genuine laughter, though. No, that that was know. genuine. That that was funny. <laughs> that's that's what James sounds like when you break him. I don't think you were there that time when... Oh, I think it was something Sigrid did in the Supers game. I forget what it was. I know what you're talking about, but I forget what exactly... <laughs> James were going off like that for a good five minutes solid. I thought he was going to have a stroke. <laughs> I, I remember. It was, it was Villa congratulating Sigrid because she was so happy. Her daughter told anyone today. Oh, that were it. Yep. Sigrid got home from work, and her mum said she was so proud because no one had been murdered by Sigrid that day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It fully broke you. Yeah. Amazing. That was a hard digestion. Welcome to town. Uh, there is no gate, I don't believe, here. Uh, uh, there is a gate. But it... Uh, yeah. It's wide open, though, as you approach. Uh, only one guard stood outside. Uh, what's the city guard like? Yeah, it's pretty pretty small here for the size. This town is a very similar size to Skip, sort of. And there's no toll for the bridges here either. Okay. Now we gotta... Do that questioning. Uh, the guard don't even give you a look as you pass through the gate. Is this the mining town or is that the next one? Uh, that's the next one up. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna head to the constable's office when we get the chance. Yeah, there's like right at the gate. There's administrative and the uh you know city watchers barracks you just heading right up yeah kind of looks up and is like hi hello um I sent a pigeon a couple days ago. I was wondering if you received it or had any information on the woman in question. We get pigeons. I, uh, oh, he turns and points at the board. This lady. Mm, yep. It's your picture that was sent by pigeon. Looks like it got a bit damp somewhere, but otherwise good. When you say your picture, what do you mean? Uh, she drew a picture of the lady. Okay. Not, they mixed it up and said Orn. A <laughs> it's, a, Orn. it's a picture it's of Orn. And he's holding out handcuffs. <laughs> so thanks for turning yourself in, Orn. Uh, yep. We got your pigeon. No sign of this woman in town. So did, she didn't travel through at all? Oh, we don't. No, we don't uh, keep logs at the gate of all travellers, especially not lone travellers. She could well have passed through, but none of us recognise it. She could, okay. She could be here now for all we know. She would not have stopped. She was given a mission to deliver the stolen gold to their masters in Bretria. Stolen gold. 
How do you know she wouldn't have stopped here? She could have stopped here to resupply. Well, she would not still be here, though. Stolen gold. Hold on, let's talk about the stolen gold here. You got me interest. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have. You've piqued my interest somewhat. I'm going to just go away from uh, just I'm going to ask around town. You're just going to go to start canvassing straight away every single person you walk up to? Yes. At this point, you know what? Sure. <laughs> Radio. So, and we knew, the, we knew she was going this way. So... Uh, can I roll, like, a tactics to see, like, just to guesstimate, like, how long they would have stayed here? You'd want like, strategy. Uh, strategy for that, yeah, sorry. Yeah, go for it. No doubt she's goddamn, like, mastermind, so... <laughs> Fingers crossed I roll well. Let's bring you back over to here quickly. On the nose, that's success. <laughs> On the nose, at least. Uh, so, mm -hmm. you're trying to get a package north to Bretria as fast as you can. Right. Uh, you would probably avoid the cliffs coming from Skip. Uh, you know she didn't stop at Skip, though. So she would probably have stopped here. Uh, but that would have probably been last night when you were fighting the bandits right. that she was stopped here. When you say stopped, do you, what do you mean? If she stayed to rest the night, feed her horse, or get a new one, uh, it would have been yesterday between noon and yeah. midnight. Where we were still traveling over here, at that point, she would be long gone. Uh, yeah, she, she would have most likely left at dawn this morning. So she's probably about 60 to 70 knobs north right now. You say she may have acquired a new horse, Sigmund. New horse Possibly. is likely. If she didn't stop at Skip, then that horse weren't being treated well. Perhaps you could run up and inform Orn so she can target her search. Perhaps, yes. Orn! He just kind of walks over her tails. <laughs> You've already asked two people who are like... Oh, uh, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> like, back off of your aggressive inquisition on. Okay. But yeah, stables seems like a good place to add. So you start moseying that way. I don't think we really need that town map. It's kind of just a distraction. Uh, are people sticking together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think so. You just ride yeah, the car. We'll see with the cart. Yeah. Ride the car up to the stables. I assume we'd just take the cart through the town and meet up at the end. That's an option as well, but the main road goes right past the stables. So ah, no difference then. Ox probably just stops it outside the stable. Uh, there's a young woman coming out. You're an Aesil boar. She's like, stable the oxen. Stable the oxen for me, sirs. No oxen stabling. You're muted, Terror, if you're saying anything. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to question her because you're so damn smart, go ahead. Ooh. Ox is turning around and calling into the wagon for anyone who's in there like, are we stabling oxes? We are not. No. No stable oxes, girl. He calls down to her. She's like, uh, Kai. Get them fed and watered, though. They've been grazing. That's good to lose. Uh, but they could probably do with some water, yeah. The the water's in a trough for free outside the stable. Uh, 
and I think Ox has pulled it up so he's got the front two drinking from it and him and Pudding are holding a bucket for the two behind to drink from each. So that they can do it without de-packing the Ox. Okay, but we want to go ahead and question the uh, stable master at least. Mm, she's kind of just headed back over and leaned against the barn door. Oh, is she is she the stable master? Uh, well, she's the only person that's come out of it. You can step down and head in. Yeah, like, might as well. Seek someone out who looks important. Who there definitely is. Cool. I'll go over and talk to them. Uh, Sigrid would have probably taken the drawing at Ord Babe. Mm -hmm. There's like 20 of them. Horn cool. made 20 in your first day of travel. <laughs> okay, well, uh, he'll, he'll take one. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, approach. He looks up. He seems in a bad mood. Like, what do you want? I've come with questions. <sighs> Have you come with gold? He just kind of like lowers a glare and I was like, No, but I've come to ask about customers recently. We have all sorts of customers. Some of them just don't pay. So if you've mm. not got gold, I'm not interested in talking. Okay, well, that's a great guy. Yeah, sorry, he rolled a real bad reaction no. check. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. No, I love it. Uh, Sigmund is just gonna go ahead and just fold up the picture and say, then perhaps I'll walk out with my potential business if you don't answer my questions. Ooh. Ooh. Have you got fast talk? I don't have fast talk. Uh... That's like IQ minus four? Yeah. I... I think Jakku probably went in, because yeah. Jakku is very interested in this. And I think Jakku unfurls the paper and hands the dude a gold piece. Mm. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot. Yes, that's a... You could probably get away with a couple silver. Nope, hands the dude a gold piece. <laughs> He'd be like, oh, oh, oh. oh, we're in business. No, don't leave, sir. What do you need to know? It's... The gold piece has disappeared. It is gone somewhere. <laughs> About his this, purse. this miss. He he puts the paper on the desk. He... Recently passed through this town. Oh, you're right. She did. And I take it she stopped by here to run some kind of uh, steed. Stole, steed. stole my best horse. Right. Daisy. And she's. And I imagine she circumvented any form of communication with you. No talks at all, just stole it in the middle of the night. No, she was in here inquiring about buying one. And then she, uh, she witched us or something. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. She was all, she didn't even do anything. But then the horse was gone. The and... horse was gone. Did she mention where she was heading? No. Anything at all about any kind of traveling companions? All she told us is that she wanted a, a good horse. Right. And how long ago was this? Uh, this was this morning at dawn. That's all I needed to know. I have not been Cause... to the City Watch yet, as I am checking through my ledgers and savings to see if anything else has been taken. But I was about to head over there now. I wish you luck with that. This concludes our business. Have a good day. And to you, sir. Sigma will just go ahead and motion Jaku to walk out with him. He winks at you, Jaku. Like a, a just a playful, thankful wink. Like, thanks for the gold, bunny. Hey, thanks for the gold, kid. <laughs> I, I give him a dismissive look as I turn and walk out. <laughs> Fedus.
<laughs> so what's uh is everyone still gathered at the cart or what is everybody else doing right now however would still be in the cart Hey, at least when the carts uh, stopped, uh, you don't have to hide under a tent there, Spot. <laughs> yeah, you don't get motion sickness if it's not moving. You can climb inside it. Yeah. Uh, how long do we stay still nearby the cart? It's been about 10 minutes here. Yeah. Oh, okay, like 10, not that long. Yeah. God, gonna not even zero. after that conversation. That was like two minutes. Yeah, it wasn't exactly like too much of a questioning going on there. Uh, the, the cart got right. settled up. The ox were given a bit of a rest and a drink. Okay. And I'm assuming so. everyone's together unless you're saying otherwise. Mm hmm Cool. <clears throat> so what's he uh what's he once Sigmund approaches the cart at least, he's just kinda of folding up the uh or at least he's tossing the uh tossing the picture, the folded picture back with the stack, basically. <laughs> yeah, there's like he a... just kinda of looks to everyone and says, Who we're looking for is not here. As we suspect at least as I suspected, it looks like she went ahead obtained a means of travel and left at dawn. Or near morning. Would have avoided the mountains, I believe you said? Like, over... Let me find where we're at. Uh, you... The road is the quickest... It's like the only way mm -hmm. north from here. So, that's... Yeah, said so she would have at least taken the road straight to go quickly through the mountains, and she's probably on her way right now. Oh, past there. Uh... Yeah, like right now, she she can't be further than Ton Bodar Rough Mall. Right. Rough Mall is where she'd be if she were really moving. I would give an estimation that she couldn't be nowhere past Ton Bod or at Rough Mall if she made post haste. But yeah, after that, if you want to get, you have to kind of go this way. Beyond that, I can only give rough estimations. We would have to resort to tracking and scouting at that point. Either way, she would not be here. Once we have gotten closer, I would be willing to see if I can track her. The issue is that I do not know if she would be able to sense it. Then as of right now, we won't worry about that until the time comes. Worry about the concrete instead of the abstract. Right now, we need to get ready and move. There's no time to wait. While we Not are telling us, Never what, what exactly? Did I forget to say something? Yeah, you forgot to tell, tell us that she is indeed using magic. She is. Capable oh of yeah, using yeah. I forgot that detail. Sorry, I thought that was already something we figured out earlier. But it has been confirmed by the stable master here that magic was used. So we are possibly dealing with someone of a spellcasting variety. Either that, that or some sort of charm. In that case, I will not attempt to locate her until we are certain we are near her. I do not wish to tip her off too soon. Then I propose for the time being, instead of worrying about that, we'll go ahead and try to go to your top. We'll see if we can find anything near the crossroads there. If not, we'll take it to stop by Tombod. And if nothing there, we'll stop at Rough Marl. She is one person against our group here. She has the speed advantage. The most we can do is follow a train. Any objections to this plan? None at all. None. You could make it to Cova by midnight, uh, if the ox and people walking were up to it. I'm giving you 30 minutes to stock and resupply, we head out by then. I don't think you even need any more supplies, you've still got like a, at least 10 it's days still, It's still a rest period. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things of where it's more, more so in the process, more than like anything else. Stop and breather, basically. Gotcha. Plus Sigmund wants to check out a blacksmith or two. Mm -hmm. I think there are a couple of blacksmiths in this town. Well, according to the handout, there's two. Yep, there are two blacksmiths in this town. 
Gotcha. Uh, what do they have, if anything notable? Uh, lots of kind of stock stuff again. They do have mm -hmm. some plate that could be shaped. Ooh. Uh, not too worried about that, though, because Sigmund gave 30 minutes and he's not one to be a hypocrite. Mm. You... There was a magic store on that head out there. Is that actually a thing, or is that just part of, like, whatever you used? Yeah, the, there are two magic shops in Asalbo. I'll give that a little gander. Uh, I think there's actually meant to be three. But I must have not edited it properly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll take a look. While well, Sigmund is opposed to using magic, magical items and charms, though, are a different story. Yeah, it doesn't have, mess me up. It messes the item up. You have a ten-minute glance at the blacksmith, and then over to the head over to the magic shops. Anyone okay. else? Uh, uh, Ulrich. While they do that, could I take a look at the bookshop? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Ulrich would be looking for a cover he could use to add the sheets he has been writing his song on and make a book. It seems much more organized. Okay. Uh, yeah, they could sell you just the bindings for a book. Yeah, he Or will... they could sell you, like, blank tomes. Uh, he'll do that. Uh, both of them, actually. Uh, keep the book just in case they need it. Roydio. Uh, I'm not sure on the prices of those. Uh, uh, you want a few silver copper? Uh, probably like f five to ten coppers. Probably ten coppers for what you're after. Not coppers, okay. silvers. Ten silvers. Okay, I'll take the silvers off. It's probably actually more than that. I'll look into it and let you know at a future point, though. <laughs> okay. You've all got plenty of money on you at minute, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, that's why I'm uh, taking a look at these magic shops. I have a little bit of dosh to spend. How many copper stars, Hiller? Uh, five. Five. And how many golds are a silver? A gold is a hundred coppers. And uh, how many? So you've got 20 silvers, 20, 20 to, silvers a to a gold. Is okay. Trying to do some I'll very break. basic maths. Okay. Then Jared steps in. What source is that? Jacko? Okay. Is you there a jeweler in town? town? Uh, there are oh. a couple of jewelers in here. Yeah. You got thirty minutes. There, there is a single jeweler in this town, so it's fairly easy to find quickly. Well, Jack, who can go first? I didn't realize I was cutting him off. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't mind going to the magic shop. Yeah, there's right. a couple of. You'd probably only notice the major one. It's got like hand painted out sign out front, and you and Sigmund are heading over there at the same time, most likely, for reasons. And it says okay. says Renvac Veveran charms and elixirs. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk in. Yeah, might as well take a look to see what they have. Lots of dusty bottles lining shelves. A super old man behind the till, who looks at you both walking in. It's like welcome. Welcome, charms or elixirs. Which do you need? I can make you strong, virulent. I could help you fly for a, a little while. Instant fire, instant water, instant bread. He's what like, do you have in stock right now? We're looking to purchase and not wait. All of this. Instant, instant bread, instant fire is very popular. We're not looking for instant fire. Uh. Oh. Anyone got Streetwise at uh, you two? Um. Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, charm wise, what does he have, if anything? Uh, all sorts of weird stuff. Charms that clip your fingernails and toenails for you. A charm that cuts your hair and trims your beard. Uh. 
mm. a charm that magics away waste. Mm. Charm so cleans, it's just yeah. to buy that, just just to shove off any importance of that, if ever. Charm that <laughs> makes you stronger. Charm that makes you smarter. That one's expensive. How expensive? Uh, the charm that makes you smarter costs a gold piece, and he says it'll last for ten minutes. Is it reusable? Or is no. It just a lot you use it once, and it makes you smarter for ten minutes. What about the uh, what about the, uh, what about the stronger one? Uh, the stronger one only costs uh, ten silvers, and isn't, it'll isn't make that you... a gold? Or is no, it gold? it's 50. 50, okay. So, like, 50 coppers for one that makes you stronger for an hour. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll purchase both the stronger and smarter one. Okay. How, how, how about faster? Faster, yep. <laughs> A gold for one that makes you faster for 10 minutes. Oh, I give him a gold for that. Oh, there you go, sirs. Enjoy, enjoy. Now, you'll need to, uh, uh, let's see, he's looking at, they've got little labels on them, right. and he's like, oh, you're in luck, uh, these do go out of date, but you've got another, another 30, 30 or so days each on these. Okay, let me go ahead and take this out. Just as a warning, after that time, they won't work anymore. So, we'll go ahead and... You get one, and it's a plus one to both strength and IQ, it, uh, respectively. Yeah. So it's just basically a plus one to DX? Yeah, for ten minutes. For ten minutes, okay, cool. And that pretty much wraps up anything I wanted to happen there. Mm -hmm. we're, we're good. Orn's heading into the jewelers. Yep. It's, uh, uh, ooh, let me make a quick roll. You're a sparkly one there. Come on in. We've got a lots for sale. Looking to sell today. Oh, uh, let's... I have raw materials. Let's see what you have. Pull out the brick of gold. <laughs> oh, oh you, we can use this. Uh, do you mind? And they like pull some scales out. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I just need to do some quick mathematic. There's my merchant checks, by the way. T Y. Made by four. Oh, uh, hmm. <coughs> yes, I can. I can give you eight hundred crowns for this. No, that's not right. Eighty crowns. I can give you eighty crowns for this. Eight hundred crowns. Whoa. No, eight. Uh, yes, this is. 80 crowns worth of gold of a high quality. That's the low end of what I was given, wasn't it? Uh, mm, mid. Kind of standard price of gold at the minute in Mitha. Standard. Rust mill, does that one just do um just gemstones or is it what do they mine? Oh uh, no, it's Kova. Uh mines gems in lots of varieties. There is a kind of special gemstone that only comes from one mine around here. Uh called Kova Purple. And it's uh yes. there's thick veins of this glimmery purple gemstone. If that's the case, if he's only offering eight, I'm going to skip it today. He's, he's no, got thanks. a fewer in stock as well. Quite a bit of the uh, cover purple in stock. When, we're going to ro roll right on through that next town, aren't we? 
Mm, uh, we'll it, get there by midnight, but given how much we've traveled, we'll probably sleep when we get there. It feels unlikely based on what I know as well. Mostly because, like, we also just had a fight and everything else, and they are, like, th this witch already has speed advantage because it's only one person with a horse compared to, like, an actual wagon. Mm-hmm. Well, so, uh, I'm not going to sell the gold today, but uh, uh, we'll have 30. Uh, I'll assume we have 30 minutes. I'll buy it cover and I'll be like, thanks, but no thanks. I appreciate your time. Very well. We're the only jewelers in town, they say, as you like leave the room. You won't get any business from me. <laughs> um, did we miss anyone? Tabra? Uh, Tabra doesn't want to do anything but catch the uh, witch. Catch the witch. Um, Ulrich, where did you go? I went to the bookstore. And to the bookstore. Got my... You got your book bindings. Okay. 30 minutes pass. Uh, I think actually 30 minutes pass and Jakku and um, Sigmund are both missing. And then five minutes later they appear with some magical charms. Lee's like, Oi, Dad, what happened to 30 minutes? Idiot. Would we be that exact though? Cause I've got my uh, Casio watch on, pal. She says, points at the digital face. <laughs> Has a Tabagachi on it too. Home rigged it for it. Oh, it's Just dead like, again. It's dead. <laughs> uh, but I so you. A little bit of a hold up. Apologies. Are we all good to go? I I imagine so. Ox is like, Ox good to go, and so are Ox. Good. Then we will head out. Uh, we I will think... probably stop Ooh. and take a rest the next town over. Yeah. Seems smart. What do we do when she gives the money to her boss? <laughs> this is an interesting question. But we're at a perfect we... point for a break. Yeah. So we'll we'll muse on that on the road on the way when we get back in five minutes or so. We'll be right, right. back.
We're back. Hello again. So, the group leave Acel Bar uh, just before dusk. Uh, stocked up on charms, pockets full of gold, and bits of books. And head for Kova. Uh, the Teamster Inn goes not so great, but it is not long after midnight that you do arrive there. A question was asked, though, by uh, our mushroom friend. Uh huh, a question was asked by the mushroom friend as you set off. What do we do when we get to where this person is giving the gold to the master? Was that the question, or I thought it was just what happens when they give the gold? Yeah, wh what happens? <laughs> A very broad question. We jump cut to it, apparently getting to dusk. It, it were about dusk, as that question were asked. Okay, I just see. kind of shrug and then lie down and or cuddle up in, in the dog pile <laughs> and go to sleep. Aye. Sigmund's kind of like propping his head on his hands, like no, he's probably he's probably just like ta oh, arms crossed, thinking about it. Uh, I have questions for them. Spot, give me a HT check, please. Spot doesn't take all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're alright. Just for all the marching you've been doing today. Oh, okay. You may have got some mushroomy blisters, but otherwise alright. So yeah, questions is what happens, but uh, yeah, I, I I have questions for them. I think they're involved with why I'm in this country. It or seems on this most continent. of us have questions for them. What do you mean by how you are involved in this country? He is Usagi. How many of I, those do you see? I, I, I've i come from uh, uh, my homeland in search of uh, a terrible mountain range and possible end of times, and these people seem to be wanting to do something to that effect. And Is this the first time that Jaku's mentioned the end of times? Because he's mentioned mountains before. Probably. Yeah, I don't think he's ever mentioned end times before. You did not tell me that you were on a crusade to stop the end of time. That wasn't in your contract. <laughs> well, I didn't trust you yet. I still don't, but... We seem to have similar goals. Or at least are on a similar road at the moment. Most people would prefer not to be destroyed in apocalypse. <laughs> Most people wouldn't believe such a thing if they heard it, though. I, I, I honestly didn't believe it myself until we, we had that exchange in that witch's lair. I have several questions for the likes of them as well. But to pass that point, we will see what comes. We do not know what will happen once that gold is delivered, let alone if anything will happen. It was a stock raving bad witch. I take that with a grain of salt. Well, yeah, but... They, she uh... was struck with a potion. Uh, uh, and... We didn't... That very similar people have been hounding me for a very long time. I think probably because I'm here to do something they don't want. As am I. In so, a way, I suppose we're affiliated like that. But it's better not to bog down on what ifs and just see what happens when we get there. We're having this 
conversation on the road, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, Ori will ask Jacko, not sure if you will understand, uh, what exactly do you mean by end of times? Uh, I don't know. Global apocalypse, coming evil, <laughs> destroying most of life. I don't know. Take They're it to your vague. local doomsayer. They'll say the same things you'll probably hear. The the local uh, soothsayer was kind of vague with information. Hmm. I don't think Spot's question's been answered or even approached, though. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> what, how do we how do we answer it? Like we don't know what's gonna happen. No. Right? Yeah, I mean it's, it'd all be wild speculation at this point. I think. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why Sid is saying like we well, Sid, uh, Sigmund is saying we don't know. It's better not to worry about that for the time being. It's better just to see what happens when we get there. Uh -huh. But you come in on Cova about midnightish. Uh, most of you are very sleepy. Others have got sore stumps. I slept during the travel there so I could talk to the guards as soon as we get here. Power nap. Uh, powered through. And there is a fort in Cova, not quite in town, up a hill to the northeast on the other side of the river. The whole town's on the other side of the river. Um, but it's, it's very narrow at this point. And it's crossable in a few places even without the small bridges that have been built well I'll head that direction but you can do other people first no yeah it's I the car split up Hawks is like we're down their garden tower do they hail us at the gate or anything uh no but the person up in the tower with his torch is like waving it at you Sigma just kind of gives like a small wave back. He probably has like his lantern out while they're on the road or something. He just waves it back. Who goes there? He calls. Orn, are you floating up to him? Yeah, I'll float up to him. He's like, ah! Oh. Scared me. What's the problem? Gonna pull out one of the, uh, letter, uh, things and say, we're looking for this woman. Uh, you sent a pigeon here as well, didn't you? I did. I we know. We received the pigeon. We've been on watch for her. Uh, she would have. She left Al Shabar, however you pronounce that, this morning. She should have been here midday. Oh. There has been no sign of her. At least not that we've seen at this gate. We have been keeping a watch. All right, thank you. Our mancer received word also from a Azel Bor that she had stolen a horse. That is correct. And we have been watching for the horse and the rider, but I've seen neither. You are the first we have seen past the southern gate. Do you, you have may... any patrols in the area? Uh, there is a patrol to the north currently you may want to consider. Turning around and going back the way you came, there is uh, strange and unsettling news from the north. What kind of news? Uh, there is a rumor that there is fighting in Tonbud and Ruffmarl. As in all-out war, we've heard. Between the two towns? Uh, no, uh, from some other enemy. A rider arrived this morn, uh, but died this afternoon. They spoke of demons. They said the town of Tombot has been raised. We've sent out our own luckers. No word back as of yet. 
Uh, south sounds like a good direction to go. Yeah, yeah, right. it's the Luckily, yeah. army. All right, I'll float down and let everyone. I'll thank the guy. Float down and let everyone know that there is battling going on up there with demons and stuff. And yeah. we should probably stay at the end tonight. <laughs> <laughs> to the I... hell army we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think Owen's got a particular phobia of hell armies. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not Hell Army specifically. Okay. Yeah, let's go. We should. We should go. We should keep in pursuit. Uh, we there's... can't. Our oxen are run dragged. We need to sleep. Yeah, the, the one of the we oxen is like already fallen asleep, stood up in its harness. Yeah, okay. Uh, there is a stable, but it's separate to the inn, and it's only tiny. Uh, but there's a boy who you can wake up who's asleep on a pile of hay. We'll stable him for you. Cool. Yeah, and like Sigmund just kind of like thumps on like a nearby piece of wood. He's like, boy. How much is it? Uh, I, I don't know the cost, but I'll stable these for you. And in the morning, the master will tell you. Satisfactory. That's a big fancy word, sir. You're all have big swords. I'm scared. Do you think the war is coming from the north? Everyone says we're all going to die in the morning. Many I know of... little of the war, but do not concern yourself with that. Concern yourself with stabling our horse or <laughs> our oxes and our carts. Well, you're kind of a badass big Billy Biscuit, aren't you, sir? But here we go, I'm stabling them. <laughs> I don't know why I sound like a little old Irishman. Mm. It's, it's your English blood. English blood. Oh. Dirty, dirty English blood. <laughs> And the inn's just a couple of a couple of alleys over. A uh, moor's start inn, because there is a moor uh, that stretches knobs way up, pretty much all the way to the river. It's a uh, heathland. Right. Uh, hills, not really any trees for miles. It's kind of like England's answer to the desert. Uh -huh. It's where serial killers <laughs> like to bury people. People like go for a hike and they're like, "Oh, I'll go for a walk in the moors," and then they just disappear mm -hmm. because they like took a pair of puma sneakers and a light vest. But I, okay. that's the moors start in Cover. To the northeast is very craggy and peaky. And there's several mines built in from caverns, natural caverns, where they found strange, strange bones of big lizards and what have you. You know a lot, boy. How do you know this? I don't know why I'm telling you all that. You shouldn't know all that. But <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have said that. Should not Sh have said that. Oh, I sh shouldn't have said that. Zero. Sorry, me, me voice and me head just kind of turned a little bit, you know, flip-flopped and it just kind of spout out that stuff. Pay no mind. Oh, apologies there. I kind of just talked their bollocks for a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, the inn has seven rooms available. We'll take our rooms then. Uh, that's your spot. Don't need one. How but, much for a uh, room and board? Uh, I think it's cost of living related... And I'm pretty sure it's not much, like six copper a night or something per person. We could just pay that with group loot. Group loot. I'm staying in the car with the dogs. E yeah, so... that, that's a sad statement, but. <laughs> so that'll be like five copper. That oh, actually four if Spot and Orn are gonna stay in room. So about twenty-four yeah, copper on. total. But staying in the car. Yeah, they'll be 24 copper then. Pretty cheap. Yeah, it could be worse, especially when demon armies are apparently invading from the north. Hey, they don't believe any word of it. That rider is drunk off his tits and died from idiocy. Uh, do you know how he died? Uh, unsure, no. The watch did not tell me. Rumor is he rode in without a head. But then how did he tell us about the demon army? Mm, right, sounds like baseless conjecture. Yeah, everyone's all good night to you, sir. Uh, good night, sir. 
demon armies are coming. I'd better raise my prices 20%. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Oh. Supply and demand. You can't go to the next town over. Yes. Hmm. All right, uh, this is where we sleep. That's where you sleep. And morning comes. And I know we just had a break about 20 minutes ago, but I need to be right back again. Uh, let's go GMless for a quick five minutes. Everyone talk shit about me on stream. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I just laughed without actually laughing at anything. <laughs> well, I guess that answers my question. Yeah, yeah, I guess you got your answer. Just in the form of demon army. <laughs> yeah. That tends to answer many several questions. Okay. Yep. Oh boy. I don't know what to do at this point, though, because. They're demons. We're not demon slayers. At least I don't know. I guess I would have to ask Luke at some point what exactly demon strength is compared to normal human strength, if it's just like people with horns. Don't mess with horny people. First rule. First cardinal rule. I love messing with people. <laughs> Fitting for them, buddy. Yeah. Just try not to murder fuck a god that is into existence. Welcome back. And I've just unmuted myself on stream. Uh, we're at 3 hours 39. That's where I need to check for your shit talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you you really should check it. We said some horrible things about you. I know it. Don't want to check it. It'll make me cry. <laughs> uh, right. So, Yus, you would probably be awoken slightly before dawn by... The sounds of people leaving town. Didn't we get there at midnight? Yeah. They're not gonna wait for us to get eight hours to leave. No. Right. No, sorry. <laughs> I, I was like, sorry. I was taking it as like a literal representation of dawn, which is like twelve, like twelve twenty or something. My bad. Uh, dawn varies wildly. Yeah. Yeah, I think dawn is between seven and eight a.m. ish. You know. Right. Correspondent. So did you say twelve twenty? Yeah, that's, that's twenty minutes after midnight. Exactly. It's dawn. Which... <laughs> so how they Do I get woken up sooner or because I'm out Yeah, you'd the... like out of the stables, you'd probably be woken up before anyone else because there's like people shouting and people saddling what... up horses. What time do we get to bed? Uh one AM at the earliest. Okay. I, I, I also I'd remember. I'd probably be up at about six naturally. And I slept in like for uh four or five hours in the cart on the way to this town. Mm -hmm. Alright. But, yeah. but I'm gonna There's ask a lot of what's up. Uh, it'd, like scare someone a bit as you creep out of there, and they're like, "What? That's war to the north? Only a matter of time before they come down here. We're heading south. We're going to Esselbor, Campbell, going all the way to Ashwell. I'd advise you do the same. We're going north." The bunny walks into the stable. Uh, <laughs> says that it's like you're crazy. The refugees have arrived already. Go talk to someone at the doctor's outside over there. I think Sigmund's gonna do that. 
<laughs> I don't understand what you're saying in your crazy, stupid accent. Well, I'm... <laughs> you sound like you're Scottish. I'm sorry about that. Dark, dark, dark. Shringisvergen. I know where the cart. I know where the uh, military people are, right? Uh, yeah. I was uh, told. Pretty easy to spot the barracks. They've got a tiny town watch cover. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna grab onto Jakku Point and say that way. Uh, I do want to talk to one of those refugees. Uh, well. okay. I I go the direction she points. Uh, the refugees are easy to spot at the minute. They're kind of flooding into town right now. It looks like a group of about 300 people coming in from the north road. Anyone look like militia specifically from there? Uh, no, they all look like, uh, terrified, weak people. Mostly women, children, and old people. Okay. Who are genderless with their extreme age. Yeah, so, okay. Uh... As I children. want to stop. I want to stop one of the women or one of the older gentlemen, or uh, one of the older people. Yeah, they kind of got like a bit of blank gaze. All right. They just say, hey, "Yes, sir. Sorry, sir." I have a few questions if you don't mind answering them. Go ahead. The war to the north. How many people attacked your village? I, I don't know. Uh, th thousands. All at your village? We came from Rough Marl. They came on the river and from the hills. Is, uh... To the woods? There's no tr not many Into trees. To the woods and out of the woods! <laughs> uh, do we know how big Rough Marl is? Uh, Rough Marl... Uh, someone probably does. We know Rough Marl, eh? Hey Ew. Um. Yeah, like uh, it, it, it would. I guess the better question is, how large? I, I guess I actually probably should roll strategy for this or uh, something like it. But how big would a siege actually have to be to capsize Rough Marl? Capsize? To, to cap the, 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 <laughs> the siege? I mean, yeah, it's. You know what I mean, by the way. Uh, have you got some kind of area Strategy. knowledge uh, of North Area Mitha. knowledge for... Yeah, not for North. You can uh, default it uh, at, like, minus four. Let's see here. Tabra would, would Tabra have it on the map he uh, copied? Uh, like uh, yeah, a general yeah. indication of something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... um, It does have a four, like, cover. But it's not like a fortified town. It uh, is not as fortified as Cover, but it's similar in size. And it's about half the size of Cover. Half the yeah. size. So, can I roughly estimate like how much would we need it to yeah. more or less uh, uh, capture that town, or at least effectively raise it to the ground? Yeah, give me strategy. Works for me. If not strategy, uh, there could be stuff like expert skill, if you would prefer. Oh, you're um, your mercenary expert skill. Yeah, experts. It's it's technically expert skill, military science. Yeah, perfect. Okay, yeah, I could do that. Let me just find it on my list right here. Army nerd. To, like it's his character or something. Sadly, this is a hard skill, so I'm going to take my time thinking about this. Whew. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it probably won't be that difficult. Um, if I was to get like a rough body count, how much would you say? The smallest could do it with even just 50 people. If it people. were like a clandestine attack. Okay. But, uh, but if, if, if it's as small, it's like around 20, 30, you would say? If they straight marched in it, it's pr probably more like 100. Okay. But this is also demons, apparently. So this is just going off the assumption it's like an organized army and not just terror. 
Tombod is a bit bigger than Rough Marl. Right. Uh, but but that's allegedly that's fallen as well. Yeah. And that, that would actually be up towards like the hundreds, two hundreds, right? Yeah, you'd need like 200 plus people to attack Tombod. Right, okay. We've hit a snag in our plan, it looks like. Spot. Uh, you'd have seen these refugees as they started arriving as well. Since you weren't asleep. If we've got a spot. Mm, no, spot's not sleeping. <laughs> so yeah, you just watch them pour in. Wait for everyone else to wake up as the commotion starts. Yeah. Uh, should I roll perception to see if anyone or anything gets my eye? Uh, yeah. Ooh, that fleeing refugee has uh, a nice half of an arm. <laughs> yeah, you, you would see injuries, for sure. Uh, even we are at perception check, probably. Also, this is totally unrelated, but I just realized with my kill counter, I was actually putting it as points, so I just suddenly have five extra points. That's not how it works. You don't get a point every time you kill someone. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I was accidentally assigning it a point, so every kill I've gotten so far has been a point on my sheet. Oh, right? I see. So I, so I now have five extra points freed up because I put it in the wrong box. Gotcha. <laughs> every time you so, kill someone, it costs... You have to spend a character point to kill someone. This is your toll for taking a life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, nothing in particular of interest spot. And Ever, what about you? We've not had anything from you yet this morning. Uh, he's just gonna wake up and the first thing is gonna try to wash his mouth with a barrel of ale and get a good drink. Look at everybody. He's like, Mommy, what was the plan? Still really groggy. And he's not a slow waker, he's just very muggy and sleepy. Gotcha. Very muggy. As you like walk out saying that, everyone's. Like, you see Sigmund step over and start talking to this woman who looks like she's got severe shell shock. While uh, Orn grabs Jakku's hand and floats away with him, hopping behind. So yeah, you're heading straight for the military camp, Orn. Yes. Well, the City Watch barracks. Yeah, uh, I think Jakku's just going wherever Orn points. Mm-hmm. It's got, it, it's the doors like closed. We guard outside, at the minute. Okay. He stood with his pike, looking terrified. Hello. It's like, uh, no access. Sorry, emergency meeting. Of the captain and the guard. Uh, I kind of have information about stuff. What kind of information? Oh, just, you know, that it was an evil witch that came over here that was stolen taxes and murdered children. Um, and, you know, there's a demon lord that is apparently trying to end the world. He's thinking for a second that he... Kind of turns and opens the door and says like, ah, uh, uh, Captain, Captain, um, yeah, someone, mm, and it's like, come in, waves you in. Still holding Jacko's hand, I'm going to float in. Uh, there's a pretty fancily dressed person who's got a cape on. He's wearing full plate except for the helmet mail. And it's like shiny, uh, what's the word? Gilded? Yeah, Ooh. gilded is the word. Gilded, for. gold stamped all over it. Fancy. Like, oh, what is it? What news do you have? I heard Demon Lord. Okay. Master, I don't know if he's an actual Demon Lord. I'll give him the full rundown of our entire ex escapade. He's listening. There's like uh, ten people in here. Uh, none of them look ready to fight an army. Except for maybe the man dressed in gold. 
And he takes it and he's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We know of the witch. You can see the person you talked to last night is in here as well. And he's like, we, well, we, we received message of this woman. We have not seen her in town. Uh, what's uh, this master? Must be related, surely. Uh, yeah. I agree. <laughs> Said Lejaku. <laughs> well, thank you for the information. We have scouts ahead on the road. If there's any sign of an army, we'll know. And we will flee the town. Or at least we'll order the civilians to. My men and I will take up in the fort and defend it as best we can from whatever comes. Isn't that right, men? And that person who were on the tower that you talked to last night just throws up between his feet. <laughs> yeah, I, I look these guys up and down. Like, uh, how, how do they look? About twice as strong as that group of bandits that attacked you last week. <laughs> or this week. <laughs> like, a couple days ago? Yeah. Um, so, they're all still pretty much just pushovers. Mm-hmm. But there's twice as many of them, and they've got helmets. Do the helmets cover their necks, though? No. <laughs> Me? I... You guys I... should protect the civilians, man. They're heading south. Yeah. The town will be yeah. empty. We're going to cover the fort and hold the road. Uh, from what I Why? hear... To stop their progress south to the civilians. I look over at Jacko and say, We got that covered. We got that covered? Did, did you say that, Nusagi? Yeah. Jacku like shrugs, like maybe. Who? Oh. These guys don't. Oh. Like Jacku is like pointing at them now. Like these guys are all gonna die. <laughs> like they this is have all in. Yeah. No <laughs> I'll look and say, yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to get them to go with the people. Uh, uh, other people out in the street. Mm -hmm. Uh, you kind of see that Orn and Jakku have run over to the barracks and been let inside now. I am actually going to point out to these guys, like, if you guys go and reinforce the bridges at Aslabor, the civilians will have a better chance. Can I, I fast talk this? Yeah. The or... captain nods slightly at that alone. And he's like, this is true. But we cannot leave the town to be taken. It's already taken, dude. Why? Man. It's And there are those You're... here that refuse to leave. Those too old to travel. Um, you know, I... Uh, Sigmund at this time when it's going to start heading over to the barracks after he's done questioning the refugees. Yeah, I, I think the rest here for, you know, cohesion reasons. GM magic, the party is... Let me cast a... I think this is a third level GM spell. Party teleports to each other. Uh, have you prepared it today? Sh shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't prepared any spells. Let me gather energy real quick and just explode. But yes... I don't think God needs to follow. Magic God, aspects. God just has cosmic modifier cheat. Like he could just do whatever he wants. Yeah. But I, you've walked over to the barracks, and the bloke there has like seen that you were talking to Warren just before. <laughs> opened the door for Spot, Ulrig, Tabra, and Sigmund. And Lee's back at the wagon, waving at you, stroking two mm. doggos. Well, one doggo and one Lord Fluffy Bottoms. Right. If they refuse to leave, then perhaps it is better <coughs> to come here to die and protect those who are willing to survive. I won't leave my wards to die. 
My voice has changed so much over such a short time. I think this is what it about was. Uh, have we been given a little rundown of what's been said before we get in? You guys, as you arrive, here's a rundown of what's just been said. <laughs> For a plot convenience, here you go. Suddenly, I'm a pirate. Yar. Yeah. Well, if they want to die, I say we let them and move on. Yeah. Like, Sigmund, when he just gets in there, is just gonna say, you do know that roughly, from what I can tell from those two cities that were both raised, that's a combined force of more than 300. How many do you have at your disposal? That uh, said, I forgot. I need to roll something. 23. Mm -hmm. Oh. So your 23 could stand against what's an alleged army of more than 300 demons from the north. One man on a wall is worth 10 on the ground. He points out the window. So about the... 50 people against a combined force of 300 or more demons from the north. There's like 10 of them. We were There's... just told there were 23. There's 23 oh. of my men. <laughs> oh. But Which apparently, apparently a wall of 10 is more Yeah. Yeah, apparently a man in the wall is worth, like, ten more, so it's like, okay, cool, benefit of the doubt there, you're still messed up. Well, you should at least destroy the bridges after we've moved on across them. Allow me to give you some advice, Captain. Cut your losses. Your men cannot stand up against this. The last refugee wave, if you will, had no defenders in it. They will have to pass through lands of bandit territory. Go defend them. Claim your honor that way. You can't stand up against an entire army without another. And you six. What, what is your plan? Us have our own business. Worry not about that. We will... <sighs> we are not your citizens. Pay us no mind. <clears throat> Then I pay your advice, no mind either, sir. Are there any die like a fool. Oh. Could, can Are I... there any analogs to this situation in a scout in history? Uh... Not really. In will, in like all of history, maybe. Like, in the first age, there was tell of someone who commanded an army straight oh from the God, below. Uh, anyone got a relevant skill? History? Ancient? I, mean, I don't mm -hmm. have any anything history of a Scot in proportion or militaristically. Unless you want expert skill military to be that. <laughs> no. Me and four Usagi once held a bridge for five hours against an army. That's pretty rad. And then I point at uh, all of uh, the rest of those guys and be like, hey, have you guys spent your life training? Every day for hours and hours on sword play and fighting. That bloke throws up again. Mm -hmm. Another one just says, No. Yeah, if you stay here, you're all going to die. The captain's not looking happy. <clears throat> I go ahead on the fast talk I wanted to do like a bit ago. Yeah, or you can drive fast talk. Psychology. Yeah. Like Wh either what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to get him to leave and try to get to take the people with him because frankly this is dumb trying to hold them here and we're going to try to hold them here cuz we're idiots. But get the guards to leave. What do you want? Fast talk or psychology? 
psychology would probably be the better one. But it'd take a lot of explaining to him as well. We got a few minutes. Mm hmm. That's philosophy, but are they the same? Uh, yeah, it's. I wish they had uh, psychology. Yeah, they're the same. I just misclicked. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, you kind of figure out from what he's saying straight off the bat that he himself is never going to leave because he's well, then, uh, sworn an oath to protect the town, but he is willing to, yeah. We'll send the men and we'll have it. We'll gladly take an NPC to join our party. None of these men will be. None of these men are forced to fight with me here. But I have sworn an oath to this town and to the fort on the hill and I will defend it with my life. Cool. We'll help. Uh, um, we cannot defend against 300 or more soldiers. Hmm. Fort or not, we are seven. That is 300. Yeah, but if we played strategery, like, and do <laughs> actual... That's not how strategics work. Or... Uh, well, they've got to walk across these bridges, right? How deep is the water? Like, I saw uh, last night, or a couple nights ago, I think, it's... It... Spot made a man crap himself so hard his inside exploded. Like we could do <laughs> that was one man. This is yeah, over three. Yeah, actually. People. Like, okay, so what's the town look like? Can we go back to the town map? Uh, I have not town actually town. got a town map for this one set up just yet. I think it, what might it might be a good the, time it, to it, call it so we it, can strategize the beginning next week. Yeah, it, it probably with is. With a map. This is a, a yeah. good ending time for the stream. There's not even walls for this place, as far as I remember. Just a town. No, that that's correct. There is a small fort, but other than that, no walls. So, uh... Quick refresher. Didn't one of the fleeing refugees say that they came up the river? The, uh, uh, invaders? Yes, correct. Um, the person from Ruffmall said that they came out of the hills and in the river. As in, like, not walking next to but literally they were in the river yeah like they they emerged from the black water at night oh uh, okay spot has a perfect strategy <laughs> let's hear it put the umbrella up <laughs> no but i think there's i i think we, we've hit a point tonight where we yeah, yeah like at this point we need concrete details to work with to see if we can actually hold off against this which i really doubt all sakes of realism <laughs> we're gonna need one hell of a plan or one hell yeah. of a lucky break i'm gonna need i'm gonna make some lucky rolls with strategy boys but uh yep uh so tune in next week at this time to find out if uh if the gang's going to stick around and die or shit the pants and run away. <laughs> uh, we've been the Cobalt Cafe. I was Luke, the GM. Uh, we'll also be back on Monday, uh, which leads us into Terra, if you'd like to plug out all your things. Yes, we will be streaming our second session of our podcast, Vibrant Infinity. Um, the podcasts have not fully been edited yet, so if you're looking to catch up, I think it's still on Twitch. Yep, it'll be on Twitch uh, until a week on Monday. Yep, so it'll still be on Twitch if you want to catch up, but otherwise, uh, the podcast is coming. Uh, but that'll be Monday at 5 Pacific Standard Time. Mm -hmm. We also had Simon. Hi, I'm Simon. I play Sigmund. And you could just catch me in your window right now, looking at you. I checked. It's too dark outside, so you could be there. Tap it on your glass. I'm scared. We had James. I was Jaku. And I murdered the fuck out of some bandits tonight. Yeah, you did. We had Everos. Hi, I was Ulrich the Bard. I had the chance of singing a little bit today, but 
I'll be getting more later on. <laughs> <laughs> we had Jared playing Tabra, who is wondering if this is the coincidence. The Agreed. army and the fleeing woman. It might be. <laughs> it's a pretty big coincidence, though, isn't it? Like, uh, that's suspicious. And finally, we had Z Warrior. Playing Spot, the Bird Alchemist, <laughs> who made that guy crap his pants so hard he exploded almost. It was pretty bad. It it was not yeah. nice. Uh, but yep, we were the Cobalt Cafe. Sorry, uh, one last thing. Luke, you took the F-bomb count. Uh, James and Sigmund tied for second, Evers in third, and then the rest of us didn't have much of any. It didn't feel like a particularly heavy one. It was not. Mm. It was a very light F-bomb session. Yep. Not much fucking this time around. <laughs> wow, we were kind of fucking clean. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Uh, everything's on YouTube as well, Cobalt Cafe. Uh, we're pretty easy to find. And thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.